Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Hello. Band of Badgers, and this is the continuing episode of A Deadly Quest. <laughs> uh, written and GM'd. I think I've got pistols again. I don't know why I keep doing that. Uh, it's Russ. <laughs> hey Dan, how is everybody? I'm good, Dave. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> oh. It's catching I now. We go to it. See, Vinny got shot. Everyone's, everyone's doing it now. Please <laughs> <laughs> stop shooting people, Dave. <laughs> Go to the UK Games Expo. And just go do this everywhere. Yeah, so we're going to do. Yeah, yeah, get chat out of security. Yeah, control. if you see us, finger gun us. <laughs> <laughs> if you walk around, just go. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> we do a draw. We can do. A swing. We go. Like, you know, <laughs> finger, finger guns pistol. for free for a free custard cream. No. 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 <laughs> oh, it's a good idea. You want me to just walk around with custard cream in my pocket in case I get finger guns? That's yes. what I did. That's I what did he did. Last... I'll That's get murdered by two dolls. Yeah, I did it last year. You did year. that? Yeah, I That's had cute. a big box of, of biscuits. And every now and then... It was even in a custard cream tin. Wow. Yeah, it's it's shaped like a giant custard oh, cream. Wow. Oh, for sure. So, uh, yeah, we uh, every now and then people would just go, you band of badges? Went, yeah, have a, have a custard cream. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's fantastic. Plus, plus, you had like all the American companies were coming over last year, so and and not many of them. Vinny, I don't know if you know what a custard cream is, but not many oh, yeah, of them yeah. knew what a custard cream was. They were, what is it? And they they look at you funny, like what is this? <laughs> so just try it. Just try one. Just try one. Um, yeah, we made loads of new friends, and we put off some people as well. So yeah, <laughs> power of the always, custard. Always good. Power, the, power of the custard cream. But anyway, it's uh, where are we? We're in May. The sun has finally come out here in the UK. How is everybody doing? I'm melting, yeah. Dave. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love I've got the aircon on, Max. <laughs> Everyone's like, you know, we've just been having, it's May. We've had five months plus more of rain and cold. And we get one week of the sunshine. And everyone's like, yeah, I'm melting. <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Get some, get some sunshine out. Um, but anyway, are we ready to to uh, to roll some dice? We are. We need, we're going to go straight into combat, I believe. Uh, we're we're oh, all yeah. in a bit of a precarious position. Right. <laughs> are we ready? Yes. Right. Let's do it. Let's roll VT. enjoy that VT every time. Cool. Uh, Dave, can we immediately start with the battle music, please, while I do my very, very brief recap? I will do that. So, we ended last session, um, for those that don't remember, uh, in a very precarious situation, as Dave mentioned. Uh, we have Kingsman hanging off of a slightly loose python in a wall <laughs> over a 200-foot drop. Not that he knows how far down it is yet, because he can't see hey, it far. But... You didn't say that last time. Uh, it's very far. <laughs> I just thought it was um, a little one. You know, I'm going to drop and go, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you you want to hope some rolls go your way very early on. Um, <laughs> but very importantly, this creature, this spider-shaped creature with this eel eel neck with a lovely cloak on and a like, little hoodie sort of on, um, attacked Mrs. Bemble Bumble, bit her, and she went down. And as she went down, this creature swiped with its claws, missed with one, but the other one was very painful. And Mrs. Bimble Bumble has two death saving throws already. Um, and we're going to get straight back into it uh, to try and see if Mrs. Bimble Bumble survives and if Kingsman's danger sense might be useful. Uh, <laughs> so, fortunately, next to the initiative is Kingsman. Uh, so, Dave, can you please roll me a luck roll, please? Um, 11 to 20, the Python holds. 1 to 10, it doesn't. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. It has been charging. It's an 18. Excellent. So you feel it is slightly loose, but the python holds just under your weight, and you feel like you've got just enough time probably to get off of this python using one of the ropes and get to the other side. It's very busy, but you can get over there. Okay. I will, uh, so let me uh, let's add this to the big screen. There we go. Zoom. Um, I want to, if I can, I want to do a bit of a Tarzan swing, but uh, like yeah. run at what, well, or and like run across the wall as well, holding on to this thing. Zoom. Maybe yeah, it's more Etsy than Tarzan. That. And I land over here. Uh, you can land there if that's what you want to land. Yeah. I'll do a nice little one. Landing. Can I can cool. I jump into the fight and and see what's going on as well? Yeah, yeah. So you come on this side as you go across. You've already seen Mr. Bumble Bomb go down. You see far in the corner. Yep. Uh, you go past the Sturge, which you know is Neshka, um, and Shay's shaky legs are still there. Uh, and you can see the large creature and two smaller ones who you notice Kingsman are very much eyeing up Mrs. Bumble Bumble now that she's laying down on the ground uh, and not a threat to them. I will use my remaining movement to run over to Mrs. Bumble Bumble. Excellent. Uh, scoop her up in my arms. And I will, if I've got any movement left, I will start to kind of back away over, over here if I can. Uh, yeah, I can say you could easily do that. You will leave the creature's air of effect uh, or air of attack. So it'll take a swing at you with one of its claws. Uh, with a little hit, that's a 22. The bodyguard music starts playing. Uh, and you're going to take eight points of sashing damage as you go in scoop up mrs bumble bumble with ease because of your size and move out and get slashed across the back and just get a scratch Uh, but nothing too bad i'm I'm making using my body as a shield to kind of uh, protect her as best i can yeah I'd, i'd say that You'd be if you're the right way round. You would be able to give her cover if any creatures did try and go for her. Uh, cool. Anything else on your turn? No, that's it. Don't want to rage or anything. I will. I will rage. I will you power. I have to. Let's <laughs> double check it. Well, if I ever get slashed down the back, um, obviously it's going to hurt. So, I'm but I want to make sure that she's okay. I don't want to rage and then crush her. So. No, no, you won't. <laughs> you're you're used rage. to getting angry and helping yeah. people. It's fine. Well, he's was a club, you it. possibly. <laughs> <laughs> you do like improvised weapons. I um, do. Cool. I don't think Mrs. <laughs> Bimble Bumble would like it. <laughs> I don't think it could be an adventure. <laughs> Anything else on your turn, Dave? No, that is it. I'm good. Cool. No worries. Uh, Neshka, we're now over to you. You are still a Sturge. I am still a Sturge uh, for now. I'm going to to fly down here to Miss Bumble Bumble. And I am going to drop my wild shape and cast Cure Wounds on Miss Bumble Excellent. Bumble. What does your Cure Wounds look like, Meshka, when you cast it? Probably just like putting my hand on her shoulder and, and muttering some words and maybe there's like a, a green a green glow. Cool. Uh, and so roll some healing, uh, which I'm sure will be very much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> and as that happens, Mrs. Bemble Bumble, in your head, uh, as you feel this energy heal and surge over you, you feel a heat that had started to rise from below you dissipate. And just in your head, a voice that you have heard before is to say, please don't disappoint me again. Uh, and then you're healed. How much healing does she get, Neshka? Nine points. <laughs> Ooh, tasty. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, so you are no longer making death saves. So that's good. Uh, anything else on your turn, Neshka? Hmm. I think that's your action bonus action is to come out of your wild shape and then heal. Any yeah, but movement? I've still got my movement. movement. Um, hmm. You know, what? I think I'm just going to stay at a distance from these guys for right now. So that'll be my turn. No worries. That's completely understandable. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Bumble Bumble, you are now awake and conscious. Oh, that reminds so me of my. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you, dearie. I'm going to say to Nesca, and then um, 
I am. Uh, am I prone? Yeah, you are prone. Yeah, so half well, movement. Half movement, pop up. Um, and then I am going to try and make a short bow attack at Mummy Sturge. How about uh, the, you get to the, wake the, up yeah. from near death and shoot something? Oh. <laughs> Back up in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. It's a natural one. Ah. Ooh, oh, no. No. Uh, you're still feeling the effects as you are just brought back to life. You try to jump up yeah, and you're slightly older bones feel it. Yeah. Oh, that's the other <laughs> <laughs> uh, Any bonus action? Um, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I would like to use my insightful fighting um, to see if, hang on, I should read this one. Um, uh, nope, no, I'm not going to do that yet because I've just what it takes. Nope, nothing for me this turn. Cool, no worries. So, next then, after Mrs. Bemble Bumble, who has disappeared from the initiative, uh, is going to be you, Far. Okay, well, Far's not having a good time. They've made a, a new friend and they don't like it, so they're going to just <laughs> punch him a lot. Roll some attacks. Actually, you know what? No, I'm the problem is the needs a spear, actually. This is a, a um, like you're spinning the spear in front of him to try and push this thing back. Let's go in the corner. Uh, that yeah. is a on the first one. Ten. Hmm. Ten misses. That's cool. That's cool. I got another hot bone section. Let's go. Nineteen. Nineteen absolutely hits. Roll some all damage. All right. All right. So then that is okay. Well, that is four. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna bonus. I'm gonna fly with blows. Cool. Just to get one out blows. There. Yeah. That's seventeen. Seventeen hits. Yes. Great. Great. It's so just wearing a jacket. <laughs> he whiffed <laughs> with the first one. Um, strikes with the second one. And then just as he blinded it, like punch it inside the head for six damage. Good. Cool. How does this look uh, far as you kill this creature? Oh, cool. Then, as I said, um, the first blow is a, the first strike is a feint. The thing ducks to the side. He claps in the side with the uh, with the spear, and then like literally spear in one hand, fist to the other side of the head, and kind of like clams it together in the middle. Excellent. And as you get this creature you see it looks towards the smaller ones which you would guess by now it's children mm. uh and shaith you understand the language that is speaking you're the only one uh, as you hear just hear the word uh, and as this creature dies <laughs> uh, you've got one more flurry of blow i believe far <laughs> yes but i like want to move my <laughs> Yeah, but I want to use my point to. Um, I'm going to basically intimidate these two to, to get out of here. Like, okay, cool. <laughs> Make an intimidation roll. Yeah, that's what I use my last roll for. <laughs> my fish is not great. Uh, that's a uh, that's an eleven. Cool. So they get a minus one on their roll of five. Um, these two creatures, uh, they do run away. And you hear them scuttling off, or well, they will run away on their turn anyway. Mm. But they are definitely frightened of you. Cool. Yeah, concerned. we got we got we got one injured. We got a big old pit behind us. We don't need to deal with these guys. We can get away with it. That's my turn. Cool. Uh, Shape, you're up. Your legs are steady slightly now, maybe. Yes, uh, I'm back to my normal self, and there are enemies on the field, so uh, I do what I would not naturally do which is attack them so I'm going to stride forward towards this first one, I'm going to kick my sword low towards my left leg and then sweep it along the ground sparks flying up off the off the cobblestones uh, with like a, a, sl a vertical slice um, in the direction of that first one there, that's a 19 on the dice which Ooh. is 24 to hit and yes, their poor little points won't save them uh, eight, nine points of damage. Nine uh, points. Nine as points you of damage. Bring this blade up and slice this first one straight up the middle in half, just as it is turning to run away. It would seem. 
And then I will step over its fallen carcass and lay upon the second one with my left foot um, with an eye of punting it towards the boxes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Roll to hit. Uh, that is only an 11 to hit. Uh, 11 exactly hits. Okay, so that will be... just have tiny cloaks on. <laughs> <laughs> that will be strength bonus for damage, I believe. That's three. Uh, cool, yeah, you, you kick it uh, and it looks badly hurt. But it is still up. Um, right. You think it might be rethinking whether or not it's going to run away or not. Yeah. I, I, can I move it on booty over there towards the boxes? If that's uh, possible. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you can, because they get a minus four to strength, so they're definitely not going to be able to overpower you. Uh, yeah, they do. You, you boot it over towards the boxes, uh, and it okay. clatters into them. Right, and then I will finish my move uh, and just move up. Um, to the try and call one thing. Uh, cool. And at the end of your turn, it is now this one remaining creature's turn, and it looks up at you, Shave, and it tries to look of where to go, and it is going to run away. It is going to run past you, so if you want to, you can use your reaction to uh, take an opportunity to attack. I will. Uh, 18 on a dice, that's 23. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do um, it. That's seven points of damage. Yeah, and as it runs, it runs almost into your blade, and you just slice through the neck, and the creature dies. Um, and we are now out of initiative, uh, so we can stop the dramatic music. Okay. Zoom. Uh, as you've all survived, um, and if we can bring back up the creepy mind music, uh, that'd be great to have. <laughs> it, it's taking its time. It's, oh, it's, uh, it's too creepy, that's what it is. <laughs> it's too, uh, too creepy. creepy. But cool, so you have all survived. Uh, you all level up now to level four. Hey! hey. Uh, as you feel slightly Ooh. more powerful. Hey guys, I feel slightly more powerful. Me too. <laughs> you, see, you see, like I, I turn around uh, and I, there's a big display of muscles with his gash <laughs> down. He's grown two like, inches. <laughs> 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 Oh, Kingsman, that's going to be a cool scar. Yes, indeed. Battle scars. Mm, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, didn't, I don't have any scars, but, you know, nice. It goes well with everything else I have. <laughs> I cannot deny that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> How's Mrs. Bumblebomb looking? Oh, very tired. <laughs> Um, one knee feels really good and the other feels very bad. <laughs> you really got to pretty hard. Um, Ross, can I try another history check uh, to see if I've clocked anything more about Mrs. Bembron Wall? You absolutely can. It was on my agenda. Much obliged. It is a two. <laughs> <laughs> It nice. is not my day to remember shit. How a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> this old lady sure is an old lady. <laughs> yeah, like, the, the name feels less familiar to you somehow now. <laughs> right. You thought you recognized it before. And it... Rimble Bamble? No. I guess... <laughs> I just can't quite get it right. Uh, cool. Is, uh, is there anything that I can learn about these creatures? Uh, you could do a nature check if you would like to, just see what you can learn about them. Nineteen. Oh, yeah, that's a very good check. Um, so you have heard of these creatures on your travels, um, discussed by probably other druids as well. Um, they generally live in the Underdark. They don't come up to the surface world very often. They're called Neogi. Um, they're not particularly powerful, but they do tend to stay in groups, uh, at least in this world anyway. Um, and they can be very, very maternal. Hmm. All right, well, I say we patch ourselves up and keep moving, huh? I think if we encounter another group of these, maybe we should try to speak to them instead of oh, jumping they right to speak into to a me fight. For sure. Uh, that was a 
it, they, they tried something. But I get the feeling oh. it was just like, you know, territorial. Hmm. But uh, yeah, if we can avoid them, that's probably better. And if you have any way to talk to them, I would take an ally down here rather than another bunch of weird enemies. Is there is there a the, the very comfortable looking hoodie? Is there pockets in it? Uh, there are not. No. <laughs> <laughs> we could make pockets. We've got we've got oh, a few more like little hoodies. We've got one more hoodie right now. Very definitely practical. a few. If you really want a hoodie that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was just more thinking along the lines of if they had anything about their their uh, you know because pockets are fabulous for holding things. Right. Um, I think you need hands mostly for the pocket thing. <laughs> Not necessarily. I once knew a gentleman who had no hands but many pockets, and he did just fine. Uh, well, I think they do have these little arms <laughs> that have got like these three claws at the end, like they could pick stuff up. Oh, okay. In that case, consider consider me. I retract all that stuff, and I'm like, yeah. You know what? These pockets are suspicious. Yeah, <laughs> they're just they're just wearing their woolly cardigans and yeah. dipping their claw into their pockets as they walk around. One's got an ascot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One is going to have an ascot. Oh, ascot in the future. That's fine. I'm going to remember that. Uh, cool. So I will tell you what you can see from where you are now. Now you are all over the other side, having not fallen down the very large chasm. Uh, David, we can uncover uh, this bit down here. Okay. Also, sorry, just to ask, on level on level ups, do we regain hit points or just a standard? Uh, just standard, yeah. You, you will cool. gain the hit points from your level up, I'll, I'll mm -hmm. say, but not all your hit points back. Uh, and also over this side, though, just to make it more difficult yeah. for you. Mm, one and expertly done uh, so you can all see down here to the south um mm. is a corridor where there are alcoves off to the side um, you can't see what's in them and you can also see some more crates at the very far end with the black powder around the base but the, these crates aren't as destroyed as the ones you're currently next to uh, and you also see a table with some candles on it uh, and you far you will definitely notice the glimmer of what is possibly gems and stuff okay and okay down this end anyone that looks will see the base of a set of stairs that heads back the way you came but not somewhere that you're familiar with at the moment and a giant pile of rubbish as well as a doorway a corridor and another corridor that goes up off to the right here Right. So we we know that the sister came this way. Yeah. Do we have to the, any way of uh, finding her footprints or trying to decide which way she went? Anyone that wants to can try and make a survival check to see what they can spot. Sure. Twelve. Anyone I've else? got uh, a 17. 17 is pretty good. Anyone else beat a 17? Uh, nope. <laughs> not, okay, my, not my forte survival. <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm just kicking over some stones. And that's it. And far, um, your 12 isn't quite enough, and Kingsman kicks stones into where you're trying to look, and so it's <laughs> distracts. Oh, okay. You think you saw something, but then it's gone. Uh, Neshka, you see several footprints moving around, not all humanoid, hmm. um, but you do see some relatively recent humanoid tracks heading down this corridor towards where the table is. I uh, I suggest this is the way we go then. Yeah, no, I agree. There's, uh, for no reason other than that it seems to be uh, full of shit that we can take. <laughs> Um, Wait, hold, hold up, hold up. I don't trust, I don't trust this. The alcoves. I pointing at the alcoves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whose turn is it to do the trap detection anyway? It's your I'm turn like, for sure, sure is... right? No, I did the last one, this definitely. Right, I, did the, I did the chest. That was the last trap that we encountered. Okay, was the chest. Boys, let's not, let's Mrs. Not Bumble Bumble go. did the well. Mrs. Bumble seems to really want to get in on this. It's, listen, let's just. My motto is get up and go get your oatmeal or go back to bed. That's so, a weird uh, motto. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wait, you take the oatmeal to bed? Get your oatmeal or go back to, you or go to bed. Milk, or you might as well go back to bed because, you know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Um, I would like to, can I throw a ball bearing down the corridor to see if it kind of sets anything off? Yeah, you can do that. Uh, and it just pitter, do you just throw one? Oh, let's do three for the sake of direction. <laughs> 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 And they do bounce a little bit because it's quite hard floor down here and it's unworked, so it's quite natural. And they bounce a bit. They just ding, ding, ding all the way down to the end until they hit the crates at the bottom. That happens. And you can all now see, or shade than far, and yeah, Mrs. Bumble with the angry rat, can see here what looks like the entrance way to um, another corridor. Um, can can oh, I nice. ask for a clarification on the jumping rules, please? <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, yeah, you I'm can ask. Um, can I take a running jump to clear the alcove? So can I jump? Yeah, you know, with a bit of a run up. Oh, jump, yeah. Where I am there to the table. Yeah, I have got the jumping rules. Uh, if we really want to do that, but I'm just going to say yes because. Okay, the would you like me to? Yeah, I, I could do this, but I really want to shave to it. <laughs> yeah, shave. You are big and strong enough. You can. That's about five feet. That gap. Right. You can jump okay. over that with a. Run I, I'm going to jump to where the table is. Cool. Yeah, nothing happens. Um, I'd like to look into the room. Let's let's do me uh, do me Kingsman special. Stand there in the door doorway at the edge and poke my head around the corner. Uh, so what you see here uh, down this corridor is some steps that lead downwards to a, another stone door that appears to be mm. locked. Even from here, you can see that it probably looks like it's been locked. And uh, and when you was describing what was down this way earlier, I'm sure you mentioned gems. Uh, yes, on the table, uh, as you're a bit closer now, you can see that there is um, a reasonable size sapphire there, what appears to be a yellow diamond, some broken tools, and an incomplete map that appears to be like a, a map of the mine, um, and also uh, etched across it are the words, dig the mine, free the children, feed the children. Oof. Okay, I'll pick the map up, and the gems are artfully arranged in the corners holding it down um, and I'll I found a map it's not finished but it's got the same words on it as what was written in a diary oh handy mine nice left one behind free the children it looks clear down here you just need to um, test for traps or, or jump across I am gonna use my spear to poke this alcove with the with the book. This one here. <laughs> um, From around the corner. To make it easier for all of you, uh, you can do whatever you want to this area. There are no traps here. <laughs> I break I break the alcove. <laughs> <I'm laughs> <so paranoid>. <laughs> whatever you like you've tested the ground, you've jumped across it, you can poke the statues, like there are no traps here, you are. <laughs> In like oh, this very man. small stretch, you are safe. <laughs> All right, well, I, all clear, I guess, guys. All right. Um, <laughs> is, it, is it well It's well lit down there, right? Yeah, there, you see that on the wall there is a sconce. And it is would, you like, would you like me to take the lead? Well, I'm just going to check the door first. Okay. Which the is, door right? is locked. So is it, what kind of door are we talking here? Uh, so it is a stone door. Um, it looks quite solid, but quite worn. Um, and there is just a single lock and handle on the right-hand side. Okay. This seems this seems like it's going down. Am I right in that? It seems like these are stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah they've gone. You've gone down. Uh, okay. Let me bring up the room, and I'll tell you how long you've gone down. So I'll just well, the... the rest real quick then. That, um, guys, this looks like it's uh, it leads further down. Do we want to have a quick shifty around the whole place first and head down, or? But this is where the, the steps went. The footsteps came this way, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yep. I wonder if the key oh, that we found earlier will, will work in this store. Oh, smart. Yeah, if I was purely thinking about, like, more stuff to steal, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> While that's being debated, Mrs. Bumblebumble's going to go over and have a route through the crates. I think Stace took all the gems already. Cool, and as you you can lift the crates, they're not pinned down or anything. The lids yeah. are just loose enough, and even with your strength, you can just about look to see inside. And there, it, they are full of this black powder. Uh, oh, that could be handy. Nice. 
and it's dry and it looks like it's been well maintained. Real. Let me take some. Do you have a Tupperware for it to put it in? Uh, I guess we could like wrap it in some cloth, right? Oh, d- well, unless it's a very tight weave, that's going to be pouring through. Oh, don't you worry. I've got a very tight weave. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> that's that, you I'm, I'm often told. <laughs> Um, yeah, can I can I enact a tight weave and grab some uh, black powder? Uh, yes, you can. Yes, you can use the tight weave <laughs> to uh, right. collect. Um, roll a d6 to see how much you can get. Sweet. Four. Yes, you get. A, you can get about oh. four pounds worth of um, black powder. Okay, cool. There you go. Nice and tight. And I pocket it. And go. Good find. Yes, you do. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Mm, mm, mm. Can I do cool. something? You can do something if you would like to. Yeah. Take, take the candle with you, Steve. <laughs> we, we, we've got, got a, we've got a right? key, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah I, know, I, know we, I know we've got a key, I know, but this, this, this just, uh, if I didn't do it, it would be a missed opportunity. How, how many crates of black powder are there? Uh, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. There, there's six full ones and one that is open and half full so i reckon that i reckon the half full one would do i'm gonna go and pick up the half full one and take it to the bottom of the stairs excellent uh make uh yeah make me a strength check <laughs> as you'll pick it up far quite we, uh, we do have a key by the way just so you know 23. <laughs> okay not heavy for you i'm gonna place it at the base of the door Cool. <laughs> we should maybe do some tests to figure out how explosive stuff is. I don't know what's is. about to happen. Um, Mrs. Bumble Bumble, you're a particularly good shot because I saw you shoot that thing in the eye before it obviously took you down. But you're a pretty good shot. Do you think I'm if we set happens. fire to one of your arrows, you could shoot that box and make the door go boom boom? Oh, well, I'll definitely give it the college try. I'm so glad the alcoves are safe. Just <laughs> yeah. 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 Just he's going to blow this and the statue is going to fall on us or something oh, fuck yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> way back so I, I want to you see what, what happens gonna... I also want to be safe <laughs> okay so so I'll, I'll light a torch for Mrs. Bumble Bumble so she can uh, she can um, light one of her arrows and then I'm going to tip the table over I d- on I Twitch did side just, I did just have an idea. I just had a thought in my head is that like these, this is just like the overflow boxes and the main source of the black powder. Like He's right in the door. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Far will leave the dungeon. We'll just we'll just yeah. wait outside. <laughs> this, this, uh, this is we'll like the top of this is. Cool. So Have I'm gonna I'm gonna tip I'm gonna tip the table over onto its side so we've got some cover and then I'll I'll sort of I don't know. I'll kneel down and Mrs. Bumblebum can stand on my leg or something. So she can stand over the edge of the table. (laughs) Get out some little half moon spectacles and just kind of pop them on and (laughs) all right, I think I've got a clear lane. Yeah, if if you wish to fire a lit arrow at the black powder, then by all means make an attack roll. I'm worried about And I I cannot pass this up. I've never had an opportunity to (laughs) blow the doors or something before. (laughs) In a D&D game. You've got to do a lot of things. It's going to be... Uh, 17. Yes. Uh, 17 will hit. Shape, <laughs> can you please roll me 3D10? Oh, no. And then Nine. I'll describe what's about to happen. Oh, boy. 14. Cool. 21. Okay. So, you will see Shave lift up quite easily this half full crate of black powder and put it down in front of the door and all obviously move out of the way. Mrs. Bumble Bumble gets on his uh, knee as he pushes the table over, fires its arrow that expertly goes straight into and immediately ignites the crate of black powder, um, which is incredibly explosive because you've all read uh, what was written that it is incredibly explosive. Uh, and it does, and it blows up. You are all outside of the blast radius, fortunately for you. Um, so it doesn't, it 
it kind of licks the front of the table, but not enough that it causes any damage. Uh, the door, on the other hand, is blown to, off of its hinges and shoots <laughs> across the room. Uh, so, Dave, if we can unlock or show... Like, unlock the, uh, the next uh, one. Yeah. yeah, just this bit, I think it is, that goes back yeah. around here. That, oh, that was awesome. Yes. That's jolly good fun. Oh. That was awesome. Amazing. Uh, just peeking around the corner going, oh, shit, it worked. Yeah, uh, you, you, all of your ears are ringing. <laughs> an explosion in a closed environment and it's ringing in your ears. Um, so in the next minute or two, if you try and attack anything, you're going to have disadvantage. God damn it. <laughs> Brilliant <laughs> idea, and it was very good. Uh, cool. So anyone looking around the corner to see what Shafe has uncovered with his explosion? Oh, yeah, I want to know. Yeah. Uh, so as you look down and through, you see the floor that you're on at the moment. There is a little bit of that at the base of the steps and through the door. And then the floor completely changes to this shimmering, almost, it looks like the night sky on the floor and jagged walls. And I will say that, let's see, did the door hit or not? Uh, the door missed her, which is fortunate. Um, but you do see the body of someone down here in the mine but you can't see who or what they are from where you are uh, i'm gonna move in cool yeah. i'm being put on heels i'm i'm clicking on the wrong screen again okay <laughs> so am i <laughs> i tried dragging three times before i realized you can't do it in stream yards Cool. And, and as you go in, the room you see is uh, it circles back around you um, and around the walls. And Mrs. Bumble Bumble, so you're the first to notice the other crates that are behind the wall to your left. Um, and it is only because of where you put the crate that the fire didn't lick around uh, and blow them up. It just blew out because of the where you put them, which was very fortunate. Wow. Um, but this room is about 60 feet high. Uh, there are jagged walls all around you with a jagged ceiling that comes over um, so it is enclosed uh, but it, this is quite a large chamber from where you are uh, and you can definitely see that there is a what appears to be a woman lying unconscious on the floor now is she unconscious because she's been blattered by the door i was about to ask <laughs> No, so you, you can see. This? No, I rolled for it. I did a luck roll, and you were very fortunate. Uh, the door you can see is like embedded itself into the um, rock wall behind it. Um, and Mrs. Bim Bimble Bumble and Bar, you recognise all of this to be like obsidian predominantly. You can mm. see other gems and clusters in this, but this is predominantly like, this whole room, but almost is obsidian. Okay, I'll, I'll move over to the girl is she an elf uh yep you absolutely as you get closer you can see the uh elf the pointy elven ears um would you like me to make a medicine check uh, yeah make a medicine uh, unconscious check. or dead or what that's a 12. yeah she's dead okay uh you can't quite work out what it is you, you can't see any injuries on her but you know that there is no life in this body in front of you Oh, she's dead. I thought she was unconscious. She looked unconscious from a distance. Oof. Okay. I I didn't kill her with the door. <laughs> oh, persuasion. A persuasion roll. No. Yeah. Oh, it is. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you always need the door embedded. You let your yeah. It would have been an epic shot had I killed her. Right, with the door, but right above, right above the girl. Just saying. <laughs> Okay, I mean, like, how long does it look like she's been dead for, though? Uh, Shafe can't tell um, on that check. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll at least I'll two on. weeks. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm just going to quietly brush past Shafe. Okay. I'm gonna have a Judging from the decomposition and the rigor mortis, she's been <laughs> dead for at least 14 days. You all, as Shafe says that, you all, he gets some of the words wrong. Like, he doesn't quite say them right. <laughs> <laughs> The god of what? I think I knew a rigor Morris back in the day. Bar, <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to do a medicine check? Yeah. Are 
guess I would. If I could find, oh, we got that. There it is. Oh man, that's an eight. I'm rolling terribly today. I could try one. <laughs> yeah, you, you can roll. I absolutely step aside. Yeah. I go. Yeah. Oh yeah, two weeks. You're right. <laughs> I, yeah, I've tended right. many a battlefield wound in my round, way rounds. Twenty. Hey, there you go. <laughs> uh, so, Neska, as Shay uh makes up a story, Bar seems to agree with him. Uh, <laughs> you go. I don't know. You can tell this person. Um, there's no injuries, and they appear to um, have died of exhaustion. As though, and you notice the broken pickaxes that are around them, uh, as though this individual has worked themselves to death. They have continuously oh. worked over just for too long. You will know that you can last about sort of six or seven days just constantly without sleep. Um, and you, it looks like uh, this individual has worked themselves to death. Uh, and you also notice while you're doing your check um, a little letter poking out of the robes um, mm. of this creature. Or this I want to check the letter, but I'm kind of making a connection between what I've already read and and this person. But yeah, I want to I want to check what the letter says. Uh, and you pull this letter out, and it is addressed to Kieran, uh, and you immediately would see that it is addressed from Lindis, uh, and she is telling him that he needs to make amends for what he has done, sending all those people down there, um, and using the power to when he shouldn't have and that she has a key in her pocket which is for the door to this mine shaft in order to stop anyone else getting down there i thought right. we didn't have the key uh... <laughs> you 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 had the key she has the spare key there are two keys ah. i have spare keys spare keys, spare keys. Yeah, spare key. yeah we could do with the spare key i'll, I'll take the spare key cool uh, and neshka from where you've moved what you make me a perception check quickly okay you definitely notice something, but I just want to see if you notice anything else. 13. Okay, cool. What you do notice over here is almost like a pillar of obsidian come up with, uh, as though it's been cut off and carved out with a flat surface. And on top, you can see a little pile of gems and a small chest. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to uh, to call everyone else's attention to it. and come over here to it okay so no one move uh, <laughs> it, uh -oh. <laughs> it's very hard to tell a monk not to move towards a bunch so, of cash just both it. yeah let's go you can move back to where you were next to the um obsidian thing because that's uh, okay. where you uh, went to and that's what's triggered this mm -hmm. oh, oh okay so as you walk the one time we don't check for traps <laughs> This is uh, how we check for traps, walking into them blindly. That is actually You've been very consistent, I'll give you that over yeah. the last three sessions. <laughs> um, as you walk across Neshka and you do notice the gems, they're not probably something you're always interested in, but you do notice them and go to walk over to them. As you do, your foot just sort of catches the edge, um, and what you don't notice is a crack in the floor just here, which is, you can just about see it on the map. Um, mm. And as you do you see this red, almost jelly-like substance start to come out of that crack. Mm. And this creature with a singular eye in the middle, or what is possibly an eye, and these tentacles um, at the top and bottom of his body comes out. And everyone's going to have to roll initiative. Oh. <laughs> there is another creature, but we'll sort that out in a minute. <laughs> Uh, just one initiative, please, for the creatures. Okay. Ah, uh, my streak continues as I roll a four. <laughs> oh, I roll, nice. I roll a one. No. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> but then again, I'm outside the room anyway, so that's that's my excuse. I don't know. What's happened here? I should just reload our bear quickly. So. Where's our bear? Okay. So, did we all roll yeah. well with our initiatives this time? <laughs> no. About the same as usual. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, so that's right. no. okay. 
Okay, yeah. so remember to uh, so everyone can put in their initiative in the initiative tracker. You can just type it in yourself. Oh yeah. And for Ross, do you have um, you got the two tokens there? Uh, have a look. Can you see if you can move them around? Uh, yeah, I can move that one. Uh, and have you got the other one as well? Because that will come out shortly. Yeah, that well, there's one right next to it. So if you could. Uh, oh no, the different creature. The ah. other creature. Oh no, you did really bad. Didn't you? Did Kingsman get a one? Yes. <coughs> yeah. More than one, but then I'm outside the room, so it, this, this could be okay. Uh, yeah, so well, I'll, let you de- I'll let you describe what the other creature is first. But then I, I can put this on. We have it on. Do you want to see? A, do you want to see a picture of it? Uh, yeah, if you show this creature, um, and then when the other one appears, we'll show that there one as go. well. Mm. Uh, that is what you will see. It, it looks like it's made of jelly almost um, as it comes out and just wibbles and wobbles around. It, it wibbles and it wobbles. It does wibble and it wobbles. Down. Okay, it's <laughs> I hope so. Water. That's nasty. Uh, cool. And can um, I have an initiative for the creature, or can I add it to initiative? Uh, it, first of all, it needs a name so we can add it in. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the one. For some reason, it hasn't got. Oh, no, it Wib- is. It Wib- has got it. Wibble. It has got it. Wibble. Wibble. <laughs> Wibble. Yeah. <laughs> Wibble. 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 <laughs> uh, can we make it? Is that big enough? Yeah, that is the right size. That's fine. Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but cool. Uh, let's start the fight music, Dave, as we've managed to get into another fight. <laughs> I'm pushing these buttons. They don't seem to be doing anything. I can't hear. Cool. Anything. We will let me know get into it. Stuff. I can't. I can still hear the creepy my music, which, to be fair, isn't that bad for this. Uh, Mrs. Bebble Bumble, Hello. you see Neska walk over and notice the foot drop, and you are alert. There we go, Dave. And okay. you are the first to act as you see this creature appear. You can only see this creature at the moment. What would you possibly like to do? Um, I think instinctively, Shorpo, um, try and get him. Uh, okay. That's 19 to hit. Oh, 19 hit. Go for it. Roll some damage. Uh, and you could do sneak attack. I say Neshka's close enough. Lovely. So that's going to be 10 points of damage off the bat. Mm. And then three points for my sneak step. So 13, so 13 altogether. Um, uh, cool. For my bonus action, um, I would like to use my eye for detail to make a perception check to see if I can spot a hidden creature or object. Uh, cool. Is that a roll or is it you just... Uh, it says make a perception check, so... Go on then. Make a perception check. Natural 20 for 23. Nice. Woo. Excellent. So what you can see is just at the top of the crack, um, you can see that, like, you think it's eyes, but the body almost looks like it's split in two with teeth between them. Uh, but you can see there's another creature about to come out of that uh, crack. Okay. Uh, well, then, uh, like, dearies, watch out. There's another thing in the crack. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Mrs. Bimble Bumble. What's your practice, dearie? <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, um, cool. Anything? Are you staying where you are? Uh, yes. I don't think I can do anything else. So I'm just. Uh, actually, no. I no. will move. I will use a little bit of my movement just to get myself uh, nestled in amongst the great here. Okay. Are you? Abby there, or are you getting out of sight? Is that what you're trying to do? I can't, I can't get out of sight because I haven't got my bonus action left, but I'm just gonna, gonna nestle in, get cozy. Excellent. Uh, it is now the creature's turn, and before that creature goes, the other creature does appear, and you see it's got arms in places that there really shouldn't be arms, and <laughs> legs that are discombobulated and not in the right place as this creature, where its body is like almost split in half, and its body is its mouth and it's just retching up this green pungent liquid that Nesca you can mm-hmm. smell a lot um, but it comes out and it's just goes, uh, 
and manically will just run at far, which is, and shape who are the first people that it can see. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> so just the more demon, uh, and if we can put the more demon up, Dave, if we've got it. I do love a more uh, demon. Do love a nice more <laughs> demon. Uh, and why do that? Far, far and shape. Can you make a dexterity saving throw, please? Is it DC oh, eleven? Oh yeah, I can. Four. 60. Wait, what? 16. Oh, cool. no. <laughs> but you are alert as this creature runs up to you, and as it does, it just spews vomit out of its mouth, just like bleh, and oh, covers no. the floor around you. Um, you are able to dodge it. Uh, you feel it like burn and singe, and you see it sort of like singe the ground as well, but mm. you move out of the way. Shakes, you do not. <laughs> Right, the more uh, is not there, but I will quickly go and get one. No. Uh, cool. And Shade, you're going to take 17 points of acid damage, and you are now not prone. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> As you just slip on this acidic, disgusting bile that has come out of this creature. Uh, Mrs. Bumble Bumble, how are you looking? <laughs> Uh, oh, well, you know, if I were to put a fraction on it, 14 out of 23. <laughs> I thought we healed up before we left. Only a wee bit. Okay. So, uh, it has think, three rays. So, I was just going to say, Steve, can you put uh, just a holding token up? Yeah. While I try and find one. For some reason, it doesn't seem to be there. And it's not oh, nice. really okay. uh, uploaded. No worries. Uh, Neshka, can you please make a strength saving throw for me? Uh, Mrs. Bemble Bumble, can you make a dexterity saving throw? And Bar, can you make a wisdom saving throw, please? Oh, wow. I got a 16. Excellent. 16. Ah, Is this beautiful. a charm effect or fear effect? Uh, it is a, it would, it's a frightening condition, yeah. It would make you frightened. Get advantage, yeah. Okay, that is an 18, and a... That's an 18. Nice. Uh, you all, as these rays that shoot from these pearls that are atop these tentacles, um, this grey one comes over you far, but you're able to shake it off as you feel like, for a split second, you might be frightened of this, but you aren't. Um, mm. Mrs. Bemble Bumble, you see a yellow ray come towards you um, and you almost for a second feel your body slowing down, but you shake it off. Um, nothing's going to slow you down. And Neshka, you for a second feel like your feet are being lifted off of the floor, mm. but you push yourself down uh, and you stop yourself from being picked up and thrown about. Um, and mm. that is the end of the creature's turn. Those are some very <laughs> good saving throws. So... Shape. Yeah. Uh, you are prone. Um, half your movement to stand up. What would you like to do? Stand up. Yep. Fortunately, I haven't got moved far, <laughs> so I'm going to take that five foot step forward and uh, get in this creature's face. Yeah. I would like, I believe, for the first time ever in this campaign to cast a spell. Wow. <gasps> God. Because I, I remember that I can do that. Um, so I am going to cast inflict wounds so i i raise my my weapon hand and say a few words in elvish an incantation in elvish and three shadowy skulls appear around my fist which i will then raise and bring down heavily upon the creature's head nice uh, I'm also going to use Channel Divinity just to make sure that this hits. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to use Channel Divinity to do Divine Strike, which gives me a plus 10. So that's cool. a 23 to hit. <laughs> uh, yeah, you absolutely. This creature, even though its body is like splitting in two and moving around in these weird angles, you're able to find purchase on it. Uh, roll some damage for this creature. Okay. It's four more, Demon. Could I also ask, because um, obviously Shay speaking Elvish is bizarre to Far, but Far can't understand mm -hmm. Elvish. Would he say something particular? 
with just the words of power. It was his incantation, wasn't it, Shay? That you were it saying. It was an incantation. Was... So it's generally yeah. words of power. But I, I will finish off um, with um, in Tritherian's glory. Uh, they're the, the final words I say as the spell invokes, but the rest of it is just words of power. Yeah. Okay. And that's 18 points of damage. 18? 18. Yeah, that creature immediately, as it's already like you don't know how it's staying together. Um, its body starts to crumble a bit and it looks badly hurt um, just from that attack alone and it looks very wounded. Anything else on your turn, Chase? Um, no, I think that's uh, that's it. Thank you. That's, that's a pretty good turn mm. uh, on that poor little more demon. Um, <laughs> Neshka, you're up next. You have seen this gelatinous creature with tentacles come up. It has tried to clearly move you with one of its rays. What would you like to do? I would like to um, bonus action cast Shalala on my quarter stuff. Nice. And then just just take a whack at it. Cool. Roll to hit. Uh, that is eleven to hit. Uh, eleven. Oh, wait, no. Not... No. Sorry. Sorry. That was <laughs> the wrong. I was rolling the um the damage dice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven to <laughs> Okay, 19. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 19 will do it, yeah. Yeah, okay. All the damage. <laughs> oh, yeah, roll some damage as you strike this jelly creature. Uh, that is still 11. Cool. Uh, right. So you strike at this creature, and it is looking hurt already. Um, yeah. Not wounded or anything, but you've injured it clearly, um, mm -hmm. as one of its tentacles just doesn't quite move properly. Anything else on your turn? I think that's it. Cool. Uh, Bar, you're up next. You've seen Shafe almost destroy this creature. What would you like to do? I'm just going to finish that job. <laughs> this, is <good. laughs> this is good time. That's like, hot oh, damn. Um, so far, she's going to start off with a standard attack. That is... Ooh, 25 to hit. Yes, yes. Nice. Nice. I have a four damage. Four damage? Yep. Cool. Um, yeah, it is still up, but uh, still up? only just like its arms that are, again, it's like got three or four of them and they're in weird places. Like the way you punch them, like one side of the body has almost stopped working now. Okay. Then I'm going to go again. I'll go off another hit. Uh, that is 23 dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, finally, he dies. No, never mind. I take it back. That's four damage. Uh, this creature you can see is hanging on as like it looks like it almost can't move but it is still just making that oh my god and I'm gurgling gonna... <laughs> uh, I'm and you can see go inside ahead again, this room <laughs> but my last hit please 19 to hit yes yep 19 hits just give me a nice roll oh 8 damage you only needed one point of damage. Uh, oh, yeah. how, <laughs> how do you put this sorry creature out of its relatively miserable existence, to be honest? I think far has been punching this thing and it's kind of moving like a sandbag. Like, Shape's already put the hurt in it. So it just goes down to like a... He's punching and punching and moving around. And it's like really quickly just punching through this thing until it crumples to... Um, it's in us, if it has in us. As it crumples in itself and falls over, I guess. And, it, and as it does, and it crumples in, it just has one last spasm, and it goes, Nyah! and it regurgitates and throws up uh, a beehive that is empty and has no bees in it. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, but it is dead. You have killed okay. it. <laughs> uh, cool. Great. Okay. Nice. I'm going to get up behind, I'm going to use my movement, get up behind this thing, um, Big Wiggly here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to jump up behind Big Wiggly. And I'm going to see if I can give Neshka some flanking bonus. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. End of your turn. A beehive? <laughs> yeah. So confusing. I want the beehive. Okay. You're, you're welcome to it. <laughs> uh, Kingsman, you're up. You have seen this creature run across, yep. vomit on the floor, and then get pummeled by Shaith and Far, and then Far run across somewhere else. 
You cannot see the big tentacle creature though, but you can see where far is run. So I'm going to uh, kind of run into the room and just take in as much as I can, like, what is that big tentacle thing? Look around the room. I see Bimble Bumble, uh, and I see the crates behind her. Yeah. So without thinking... We're back to crate town. We're back to crates. <laughs> I'm going to rush over to here, pick up a crate, yank the, the top off of it so it's, it's open, and then I'm going to take a few steps... And I'm going to throw the whole crate at Mr. Jelly. So it, yep. it's doused in black powder. Uh, cool. Make a step, uh, strength throw, uh, strength check. Uh, you're mainly checking to see whether or not a fire gets covered. Right. <laughs> uh, it's a 15. Yeah, cool. Okay. DC was 15 in my head. Cool. <laughs> difficult, but not too difficult for you. Uh, you managed to avoid as this crate smashes into this creature and covers it in uh, explosive powder. Oh, okay. Mrs. Bumble Bumble, quick! Shoot it again! Oh, Wait! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Cool. Anything there else? Is a, there, is a lit, there is a lit torch just there. You could fire the arrow Ooh, through, it. through it. That's cool, that's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. You could do that, you're absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. Anything else, Pingsman? No, that's it. And I'm, I'm just going to take in the awe of what this thing is. Because um, I do not recognize this at all. You know shouting a warning for free action, right? <laughs> I'm just like putting out the... He, he used this thing to talk to Mrs. Bumble Bumble. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to feel that, uh, you know, as a group, we've got to know each other's... Been, it's been like hours. Yeah, it's not been that long. It's been like four or five hours. <laughs> we we, 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 uh, we uh, operate on a higher now. plane than verbal communication. Wow. wow. <laughs> I said Bemble Bumble. Shoot it. Cool. <laughs> and with that, this is Bemble Bumble. It is your turn. If you see, want to do a check, go for it. Go. If you want to do like a knew, perception or an insight check to see what the risks of doing this are, I'll allow you, but I think as a player, you probably do know what the risks of doing this are. I think, I think the Mr. Bumble has a high enough wisdom <laughs> to know what the risks are, but enough old person adrenaline to not care. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> She's going to shout, okay. fire in the hall, and I'm going to cry and shoot the arrow through the torch. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Cool. Because you're firing it through the torch, I'm going to increase the AC of the mind witness that is in front of you um, by two. Okay. Roll an attack. Uh, you would get Come you on. hit. You will get your normal damage, sneak attack, and the fire damage from this. Oh my Obviously, god! Nice. Else wow. Yeah. Apologies, oh, um, but also hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't. I can't actually fault this. That's fine. Is that, you said it's a natural yeah. twenty. It's a natural twenty. Well, that's good. That's good. Amazing. That's, good. that's cool. Good. I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw because you are <laughs> all within twenty feet of this creature that is covered in a crate of explosive powder. Um, and and once, you, once you've done that, you. then we'll look at all the damage you now need to roll. I got an eighteen. Okay, yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, the DC will be 15. If you beat a 15, you'll be able to... Yeah, uh, also got an 18. Take, get out of the way, take half damage. I'll decide in a minute. I got 13. So I did nine. Okay. My dice just screamed no at me. I rolled a nine. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, Shaith fails, Kingsman fails, Mrs. Bebble Bobble passes, Neshka passes. Far, what was yours? I got 11, I failed. Cool, you fail as well. Mrs. Bumble Bumble, can you roll me? Uh, do your normal damage just on the Mind Witness first. Let's do that. You max that out. Okay. Um, so and then roll be... again. Is that. Does my sneak attack also max on the Nat 20? Yep. Yeah, because so you would double your sneak attack on the Nat 20. So it's. 10, 20, 24. No, hang on, hang on. 10, 22, 26 off the bat. Cool. Um, and then rolled will be eight. 
And yeah, just make sure you don't add your modifier again. Sorry? Just don't add your modifier again. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be 14. <laughs> okay. So this creature is hanging on. Can you now roll me 6d10? <laughs> Uh, just uh, <laughs> um, um, Anyone that passed does not take the damage. <laughs> I need someone to be alive. Deepest apologies. Right, that's gonna be five. <laughs> Seventeen, eighteen. Seven. Forty. Okay. Cool. So, we'll deal with the creature first. The creature, you fire this arrow, it gets it straight in the eye, and it shivers a bit and shakes like it's still around and it can still do something. Then the powder ignites and it explodes, um, with some of it falling into the crack and almost sealing it um, like a jelly seal. Um, and then, Far, Kingsman, and Shane, you all take 40 points of fire damage. Radical. <laughs> Boom. Um, I, I, I go flying across the room and smack <laughs> into the oh wall uh, at the bottom there. <laughs> uh, and hit the ground unconscious and singed. Cool. Same. Uh, I'm, I'm here, unconscious and singed. Uh, Shape, are you conscious by any chance? Uh, no, because I already took 17 damage. So uh, I'm, cool. I'm and, and you also noticed the elven body in front of you that was Lindis is just obliterated by the fire. It's just singed because uh, oh, she's dead. So that you're is, uh, you're laying in it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so the my witness is down, the more demon is down. Um Far Shaith and Kingsman, can you please make me a death saving throw? And <laughs> then we will come out of combat and Neshka and Mrs. Bemba Bumble. You have three down party members. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Five. Yep. I, I got an eighteen. <laughs> so that's a success, isn't it? Yep. I got a nineteen. Nineteen, cool. Uh Kingsman, you fail one, the other two uh Correct. pass. Neshka and Mrs. Bemble Bumble, what would you like to do? Because no one else can do anything. Yeah. Uh, whoops. Um, and immediately run over. I think Kingsman's nearest to me. I'll run over and try and stabilize him. Cool. Medicine check. <laughs> DC 10. I'm just saying, like, we meet two new people. If they kill us, get all the loot and get out of there. Yes. <laughs> seems, <laughs> seems suspicious. <laughs> A chance, dear. Up the women. Um, <laughs> uh, that's going to just make it with a twelve. Excellent, Kingsman. You're stabilised. You're no longer dying, but you're still unconscious. Okay. Neshka, what would you like to do? Uh, so I'm closest to Far, so I will I will try to stabilise uh, Far with Cure Wounds. Uh, yep, Cure Wounds. If you pump that into him and roll some healing, uh, he'll be back up and conscious. Eleven. Sweet. Uh, yeah, Fog, Fog jumps up in the middle of saying, wait, that's a terrible idea. Well, what happened? <laughs> it was a brilliant idea. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just glad you didn't roll 60 points. It was, an awesome, it was an awesome idea, that, but Fog would be like, hold on, I'm right in front of this thing. <laughs> As a player. <laughs> Shape, make me another death saving throw, please. Three. It's a failure. So, yeah, one successful failure. Um... Kings, we can't do anything. Mrs. Bemble, Bumble, Neshka are now far. You are up and awake far. Uh, and you can all still see that Shape is uh, struggling to hang on, it would appear, and is badly singed. Right. Far's going to wander over um, and just uh, like crack their knuckles. And they're going to administer some, um, some percussive healing. <laughs> oh, yeah, we like that. As they basically just jab a bunch of pressure points in Shane's body, uh, causing the boy to like shudder as he pumps it in. How many? Seven. Seven HP. Thank you very cool. Much. So, if you suddenly come back to consciousness, 
um, having seen a flicker of the afterlife. <laughs> Five fifth cool. inches from your face. Uh, if we can stop the tense battle music and go back to the <laughs> mind music, <laughs> as everyone is now stabilized and no one has died. I would suggest by <laughs> luck rather than intention. Uh, I'll, I'll go over to Dave and do lay on hands for 10 points. Back. Cool. You bring uh, Kingsman back up uh, as you lay on hands. <laughs> wow. You're not meant to I mean... kill each other? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll kind you, of sit once... up from the floor <laughs> coughing up a load of like soot and stuff and it's kind of like a did that work? <laughs> oh, just about, dearie. Apologies, everyone. It was a bit more than I was intending. It was extremely effective, Mrs. Bumble Bumble. Very good. Yeah, extremely effective. And my suit's ruined. <laughs> Darling, it was ruined when you bought it. <laughs> oh. I need another I need another history check to figure out if I can figure out who this one is. <laughs> you should, you should. <laughs> That's a like, wait a minute. For that one, are you kidding? <laughs> oh. Who is this woman? Why is she here? When did I'm, you meet I'm her? I'm remembering less about her every time. <laughs> uh, cool. So, you were all back up conscious. Some of you are looking very battered and bruised. Um, can I? Can I? ask you to remind us from last session we we found that elven bread stuff you elven biscuits yep yeah, that were in biscuits. a sewing tin oh the full, yes. the full nice good so does does that give you the equivalent of a long rest do i remember that correctly uh so everyone but far would get a long rest far hmm. you would get a short rest because it would be your second one if you were to have it yeah okay i'll get the tin out of my backpack and I'll open it up and, and I'll say as, as much as it pains me to do this I don't see any alternative we were, uh, we're pretty injured we're going to need to eat the biscuits <laughs> don't mind if I do if I reach in <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll take a biscuit and I assume everybody else takes a biscuit because we're all. I'll take, I'll take a biscuit. <laughs> I managed to not take any damage, so I'm, I'm okay. Just for just for really that, well, I tell you what, that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> yeah. That does. Yeah. Yeah. The that of is Malta impressive. And not touch you at all. <laughs> Excellent stuff. I was like, you're doing really well here with this uh, mind witness. You've destroyed the more demon. That's cool. I was like, you'll be fine. Oh, you're going to. Oh, okay, you're going to blow that up. Okay, maybe not. I, I thought he was actually going to judge that as he threw the powder out of the crate, it was going to ignite on the torch and just. Oh, I'm not a monster. Fireball. Yeah, it would be double screwed. <laughs> because if that had happened, um, I have assumed, Dave, that you took this crate here. If you took I'm, any was... other crate, they would have also ignited. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was, I, in my head, I was taking one of the crates from here, that, 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 that one or something like that, and just grab okay. the We'll, we'll one say you took the closer it. one because otherwise we need yep. to re-roll some damage and, and add in some <laughs> That's more <right>. damage. <laughs> That's fine. No, please. <laughs> like you're meant to get through chapter one. <laughs> Not if Mr. Bumble Bumble has anything to say about it. Yeah. Well, uh, first thing I'm going to do is just check if uh, the important stuff is going on, which is, are the gems and cash okay? They are fine. Oh, it's the gems and cash are okay. okay. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to say, uh, Dave and Steph, you can both have inspiration for doing something incredibly against the party's best interests. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very, much. very creative. Thank you. Definitely not in your interests. And you said these, uh, these biscuits can give us a long rest, the same as the long rest. Yeah, you don't have to like you can eat them on the move as well. You don't have to sit and eat them. Um yeah. and they are like they are very sweet. Um they are lovely and well balanced biscuits. They are very nice. They are probably the best biscuits any of you have even eaten, uh, ever eaten, even Chase. See? Would That's not want to admit it, but they are you, amazing biscuits. You could just tell him custard they're custard creams. Custard creams, <laughs> Elf, <laughs> Elven biscuits, custard creams. Custard creams. Is... <laughs> Uh, cool fire have you got over to the jewels yeah and i'm also i'm also fine going over there quick perception check for traps and whatnot <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I, I, I know you're gonna ask me, so I have to say it out loud. <laughs> She's like the other wires. <laughs> Fifteen. Yeah, no, you can see that the um, crack that was there is like properly sealed nice. um, with this gelatin creature that has gone down there now and was set on fire. So, like, there's nothing coming from there. Nothing can get through it. It looks quite solid. Like, it's um, gone quite hard quite quickly, hmm. and you can see nothing else around you. And not just a you can't see anything. Like, you're confident there is there are no traps in here. This is a mine, so there's nothing in it. Okay, okay. Well, in that case, then, time to check what we got. Uh, cool. On on there, you find a chest with some gold pieces in it, and you also find uh, a selection of obsidian, a few sapphires and emeralds in here, and some rubies, but predominantly obsidian gems, just a pile of them. All right, guys. It actually oh. was worth it. <laughs> yeah, I scoop everything into a, into my bag and uh, come back cool. to I, I will uh, put it in the uh, WhatsApp about what you get. <laughs> I'll, I'll hand you the other sapphire and the yellow diamond from outside so they're all in one place wow okay well yeah we'll give you that later then. nice i know i know but father doesn't know that <laughs> <laughs> so, so i was like oh wow well, that's big you man nice one anything else you, anyone would like to do in this room yeah, that's, I mean, so we know the problem is that this, this body's burnt to a crisp now. So any more evidence on it is gone. What do we get off her? Uh, you got a letter. We, we have a letter. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's good. It's basically just t saying like, "Screw you, bro." <laughs> that's the evidence, if nothing else. Didn't didn't the letter the letter suggest that uh, using the black powder was not a good idea? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's... So I, I was outside the room. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't hear you read the letter out loud. I wasn't there, I didn't hear. Sorry. <laughs> and, and, and I used the black powder before we got in the room. That was before we read the letter. Yeah. Did you have I, I hearing? Think generally, I think we're really innocent in this. God. Absolutely not. <laughs> we could take her skull back or something. Why? Why? Well, it's a token that, you know, she's no longer of this mortal realm. She's gone to a better place. And you think that handing her brother just a skull, like he knows her skull specifically, is going to be like, oh, cool, yeah, that's her, that's his. Uh, Neshka, can you make a perception check, please? Yes. <laughs> oh, that is... 22. Cool. Uh, whilst these two are talking about possibly taking a skull off of a dead body and not taking a skull off a dead body. Um, you notice a glimmer around the neck um, of a chain. Ooh. Ooh. I wanna, like I wanna a jewelry lean chain. I want to lean in and, and check what that is. Uh, you see it is a silver chain um, with a small pendant at the bottom uh, that just has uh, the initials L um, R on it, which would oh. be Lindus's initials. Hmm. If we can't take her body back, then we can give her brother this pendant. That will that should be sufficient. Yeah, that's actually that's smart. Good thinking. That way, we don't have to decapitate her. Oh, also useful. I think she just wanted to decapitate her anyway. I think so. I'm, I'm sure there will be other things down here that we can de decapitate. That'll be. Oh yeah, for sure. We're going to decapitate a bunch of stuff. Is there anything else in here that seems noteworthy? No, no you, you can spend as long as you want in here. Uh, there is nothing else in this room other than the boxes of black powder and what you have discovered on the plinth um, and on Lindus. There's nothing else we can find in here. All right. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's off. <laughs> You'll just see Shape just sprint. He does that really yeah. big arm swing, like full arm swing sprint. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess we're leaving. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no more skulls that way, dude. Uh, 
cool. You can Someone said I could decapitate something. <laughs> there was nothing left to decapitate there. Uh, so, Shay, what you see as you have run up first, and everyone will catch you up, uh, as you yeah. see this set of stairs here, just seems to lead up to a wall, but you can't see an opening in the wall. Um, but you just see the stairs going up to it as though it does lead somewhere. Uh, if we can reveal this corridor, Dave, if we're able to do that. Yes, I can. Uh, and then this one up here as well, when you get a chance. There you go. And you see the corridor goes off to the left. And then there's also further up where the junk pile is. Uh, to the right of that, there is a corridor that leads down there as well. Okay. I'm intrigued by the junk pile. I want to check the junk pile. Uh, I'm... Make me an investigation check. Then. Anyone, anyone that searches a junk pile, make an investigation check. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm kind of feeling a bit hard. Not like a nice rummage, you know. <laughs> uh, Seventeen. Cool. So Nesha, you search through it and you find some what appear to be bones, like humanoid bones, and general rubbish and trash. You don't find anything of any particular note in there. Any skulls? <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you find one humanoid skull. I'll give one a shot. <laughs> 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 it doesn't count if I don't count it myself. <laughs> are, you, are you giving me the skull? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Nishka. You're welcome. Told you there'd be more skulls. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disappear a few minutes with the skull. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Okay, there's, there's, I got a twelve. I got a twelve on the junk pile. Yeah, yeah, there, there's there's candles on the table, isn't there? There's candles on the table. <laughs> yeah. There is, yes. Yeah, right. Oh, well, that's I, way less weird. I, I'll, I'll take both candles. <laughs> he hasn't finished yet. Does this now need to go behind the veil, Steve? No. <laughs> yeah, if you want that to go behind the veil, it all depends on what you're about to do. <laughs> okay, so so the eye sockets, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna shove some paper in there and some miscellaneous crap that's from the table they're going to pour candle wax over the eyeballs to seal them okay okay and then i'm yep. going to go and fill the skull with black powder <laughs> <laughs> yeah you let the wax cool down long enough i'd suggest yeah, yeah you know what i'm getting it i'm getting it <laughs> uh roll a d4 to see how much uh black powder you can get in this skull Three. And then I'll come back to your investigation check that you did so far. Three. <laughs> I got uh, three. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you filled this skull up like to the brim, like you were able to get about three pounds worth of black powder in it. Okay, and then I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll trim the end off my cloak or something like that, and and I'll uh, I'll I'll wrap it round nicely so I've got a little a little package, and I'll cut a bit of the end off the rope and I'll unravel some fibres, and I'll poke it in the top, so I've got a little bit of a fuse. Hmm. Make wow. me a sleight of hand check to see how well you do this. Four. Ooh, cool. Yeah. No worries. Uh, cool. Uh, yep, you've got a skull that is essentially uh, a bomb, uh, if you wish to use it in the future. Yep. Uh, far, you search through, and much like Nash, you don't find anything of interest. Uh, Mrs. Bumble Bumble, are you having a search through? Uh, I did, but I only rolled a seven. Okay, cool. Yeah, you also just find some trash and some uh, like ripped, torn clothing. All these things are really old, but you do um, find like humanoid clothing and bones and stuff as amongst all of the garbage and trash that is there and the detritus. Okay. Well, time to look slightly to the right, I guess. Uh, so far from where you are, you can see a doorway. Oh, so and then left, I guess, because yeah, bar is naturally drawn to anything that looks like it's got stuff in it. There's a chest right there. Yeah, you see a stone doorway. So, Neshka, where you are, there's a sconce next to you on the wall. Um, it's about eight feet up, hmm. but it's slightly hanging off the wall. It's like not been put on there properly, it seems. Um, but it does stand out to you. Hmm. And that is a doorway, Kingsman, at the bottom of that corridor that you're looking at. Where would we all like to go? Um, I, I guess Fars, Fars door is closest, isn't it? Well, it is, yeah. but 
I mean, can I see down the down the alleyway here or no? Oh yeah, you absolutely can. Um, there's enough light in here that it passes through. Uh, make me a okay. perception check to see how much you see, though. Sure, sure, sure. <clears throat> That's a nat twenty. Finally, twenty five. So even from here, uh, what you can see is a pile of bones here, mm. a pile of bones here and here next to the chest. They're about forty to fifty feet down. Um, and you can see from here, like the pools of blood underneath them, and this shimmering liquid that is on them, almost like saliva, but not quite. And then you just notice this chest at the very bottom end that looks okay. slightly bigger than the rest of the chests you've seen. Um, but bigger chest, bigger treasure. All right. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> just squeeze past Nishka, and I'm gonna sit here right at the right at the edge of this. Uh, this uh, little little dead zone we got here. I'm gonna call over. Who's around? Uh, Kingsman. Kingsman's closest. Is she both close? Mm -hmm. say, hey guys, guys, check this out. What have you found, Far? See down there, that chest. And you see all them dead bodies over there. That's a minute, that right? I mean, this is like is. this is. It certainly could be, um, but they also could be traps. We've seen more traps in this place than any, anywhere. Well, see, I have a, I have a, a way to figure this one out, I think. And I'm going to pull out that massive triple crossbow that I got earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to shoot the chest. <laughs> uh, cool. I just need to double check what I gave you for stats for that. Sure. I think its range is not far. It's too far away for you to fire it. Basically, it? It? oh, what is it? Like Thirty feet. It's a very short it? range. I think it's like thirty feet or something. All right. Okay. It'll be in the description. Let's double check. Yeah. So the long range is thirty feet. So you are too far away. What I will say far is on that nat twenty for a perception check. Um, mm -hmm. You're pretty sure at some at one point. On the top of the chest, you see this like little uh, orange eye open up and then quickly close. As yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. You see, you see, Kingsman. I've I've heard of these guys. I saw one one time. It didn't get me, but like nasty buggers. I'm. I've had a bad time in here. I'm gonna. It's time for Far to get their recompense, man. I see you watch my back, okay? Are you sure you want to go alone, Far? I'm not gonna go far. I mean, I am gonna be far, but I'm not gonna go far. I'm going to get just within, like, the 30 feet of this thing, on the very edge of what I can. <laughs> and I want to I want to ask first, can I uh, prepare a movement to shoot and then jump back towards Kingsman? So you can prepare an action or a movement. Mm -hmm. um, I will allow because you've had a bad time down here and you are on edge <laughs> you'll be able to shoot your crossbow and prepare that if this thing reacts you can right. run back 30 feet okay cool so what i'm thinking gang is that we get a little bit of payback okay we're gonna kick the shit out of this thing i'm i'm not right. really interested in, in payback oh well you hey you didn't see it okay you weren't here also you were like completely fine earlier okay i've had a rough day okay this is this is I Why do you this. want to make it rougher? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, they, sometimes they actually do have treasure, as well as, you know, being awful creatures. I'm worried about other adventures coming in here. Look at these poor guys. He says as he shoots this thing in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So you're rolling at disadvantage because oh, you're in the long distance range. <laughs> right, okay. But if you want to roll an attack, uh, then you can roll. Uh, if I'm at a disadvantage, then I got 12. Which is exactly the AC of a Mimic. So oh, roll hey. three, you can roll your 3d6, you can move back, and then you can roll initiative again. Wait. You don't so, have to walk into the traps. Like, you, know, you can choose not to. I just really want to hit this thing. Uh, <laughs> so that is 5 damage, and then I hop backwards. 5 damage. <laughs> So, everyone roll initiative, and let's start the battle music again. <laughs> you will see Fargo down this very obvious trap. 
fire this triple crossbow. It hits this creature and it goes. <laughs> and then he runs back immediately. <laughs> Watch this, guys. Pew. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, the dead bodies, like everything, you got that total perception. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to play unfrazzled. <laughs> uh, Speaking of frazzled, guess who rolled a four again? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, we will get into this quickly because this is another combat that you're having today. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Third one. Yes, you, you see at the end, this chest comes alive as it has three crossbow bolts sticking out of its face with some of its <laughs> eyes now pierced. But its giant jaw opens with all these teeth and its long tongue uh, comes out with this purple, bluish tongue. What would you like to do on your turn? I would... Uh... I will, I will ready my crossbow, but I'd like to hold my action until it actually, if it actually does damage to any of my friends this round. Cool. So yeah, you can ready of, an action. I think Neshka is, is kind of of the opinion that, that we should leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> Choices <Yeah>. made. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So you have uh, ready to action. Uh, if it hurts anyone, it I'll will, shoot it. I'll the guy who picks a fight with the raccoon rather than just trying to shoot it away. <laughs> My raccoon. Raccoons are really cute. I mean, yeah, uh, they cool. Now the mimic's done. <laughs> uh, so the mimic moves and it gets to here, um, but it is like lumbering as it goes. Um, what you all notice is that there is the jangling of a chain behind it and you can now see that there is a chain attached to the wall behind it um but that chain is still loose like it has some distance in it to go mm -hmm. oh, so you think that you're giving us a mimic chain chomp <laughs> i'm just saying that this is a trap <laughs> <laughs> someone put this here it's a, I'm like, it's a mario <laughs> chain chomp I, I was thinking they had a pet mimic just... uh <laughs> Uh, this person doesn't have pets who own who own this mine. Uh, but cool, that is the mimic's turn. It cannot move any further, mm. and it's not particularly eager to get to you. It doesn't seem. Um, Mrs. Bebble Bumble, what would you like to do as you hear this lumbering chest just clambering up the path? Um, the I would like to. How high is the trash pile? Uh, probably about ten, fifteen feet high. Climbable. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you would need to make a check for it, but yeah, you yeah. can. I'd like to try and and put myself above the the trash pile. Yeah, acrobatics or athletics, whichever you would prefer. Lovely. Um, and twenty acrobatics, dirty. Just the, you've not seen Mrs. Bumble Bumble this athletic. She almost like flips up it like. <laughs> Nimble as anything. Yeah, like pulled up a little bit. Do, 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 do. Up we go. Um, <laughs> I would like to shoot it with my crossbow, my short bow, even. That's the one. Um, so d another dirty 20 to hit. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, that's going to be eight points of damage. Um, and uh, then I would like to, as my bonus action, use my insight for fighting um, to make an insight check against its deception um, to see if I can get my sneak attack on it. Oh. Okay, okay. Let's see how this minus one charisma does. I got an 18 on insight. Okay, so the mimic rod in that 20. Ah. But with minus one, it's a nineteen. But it's so it still beats. So no. Yeah, so, uh, uh, now I have a disadvantage on it for the next minute. Okay. Failed. Cool. It is already looking quite hurt, and now it's got a bit closer. You can all see that this chest looks a bit damaged already. Um, Kingsman, you are up next. Thank you. Uh, the pile of rubbish. I'm gonna have a quick look uh, behind me. 
uh, because far was right. So I was going to just see if there's anything I can pick up and throw. What are you looking for? Uh, a rock or something sharp that's throwable. Do uh, you find these planks of wood that have like snapped off at the end, but they're like two by four, like thick pieces of wood um, that are like at a point at the end, almost like a spear. Okay. I'll, I'll grab that um, and then I'll heft it like a spear. And I'll yeah. just aim and throw. Yeah, cool. Roll your uh, roll your attack and add your proficiency bonus and strength to it. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yes, yes, that will hit. Uh, 1d6 plus your strength for damage. Okay, thank you. And, oh, I got, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's nine. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Looking very badly hurt as this piece of wood just pierces into the chest and this purple ooze just pours out of it uh, uh, in this wound. It's very I, I look, look to a farm on, on my right and I say, how long do you think that chain is should we step back a bit i'm guessing that if this pile of crap we're standing on this is like you know the uh refuse pile probably not much further than this but uh it looks pretty beat up anyway we could probably take it i'm gonna take another shot I, oh wait I no it's not much. Much <laughs> it is now far guys oh it is okay <laughs> yeah, cool just... so uh, this thing's looking beat up it's still got some movement but i'm just gonna i feel like i'm just gonna finish it off if i can yeah, yeah, yeah. roll to attack yeah, so it's just another, just another crossbow. I'm not getting close to it. This was a bad idea yeah. on his part. 14 <laughs> to hit? Uh, yeah, yeah, 14 will hit. And is this your normal crossbow now? Uh, no, it's better triple crossbow. Uh, so the triple crossbow, I will just double check. I'm pretty sure it needs time to reload because it's three bolts, not one. Uh, let me just double check. Ah, uh, no, yeah, it is uh, loading. You're yeah, right. so it takes a bonus action to reload. Uh, bonus action reload, then I'll, I'll do the fire, so yeah. Cool, that's fine. And then uh, shoot again. Do, 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 yeah, it's do. a disadvantage. Um, I'm a disadvantage? Yeah, you're still, you're, it's more than 15 feet away from you, so if you want to go forward a couple, like sort of 5, 10 feet, you could just roll flat. But because you're more than 15 feet, it's in, you're in your uh, long range. Oh, 15 feet, let's see. Yeah, screw it. Okay, I'm just going to move forward a little bit. I just yeah, wanna... It's about where that is. At this point, I think I should put this out of misery. <laughs> It does look really pathetic as a mimic. Like you've yeah, heard tales of mimics yeah. being really difficult. I, this one I, you know what? I went in there with this righteous fury, and now I feel like a dick about it. So I'm just going to shoot you for seven. That's um. I hit seven there. So what did you? What did you get? Seven. To hit? No, no. I got uh, I got fourteen to hit. Oh yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, so seven points. Okay. Describe yeah. how this happens as you kill this chained up, very badly hurt uh, mimic. Defenseless mimic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? He I didn't want to use the word defenseless, but... He shoots it, puts it down, and like <laughs> looks back at the oven and goes like, okay, that sucked. I'm... All right, let's just keep going. <laughs> just... He looks <laughs> really... De- <laughs> he looks really defeated. <laughs> and what was this chest just turns into this purple ooze that just like dissipates onto the floor and there's just like a purple puddle now where the mimic once was uh, but you are um, out of initiative you me feel sorry for a mimic Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> you know what the mimic didn't deserve that it was just living its life eating occasional dumb adventures <laughs> yeah yeah the ones that were stupid enough to go up to it it would eat yeah, but otherwise it, wasn't, yeah. uh, basically it would not have attacked you if you didn't go up to it it would have we been should a fire in this door <laughs> shave, shave can we check this door please <laughs> shave are you looking at the door if, if we if we hadn't come out of initiative i was opening the door anyway on my turn <laughs> wow uh, shave make me a perception check just to see if you what you notice before you open this door oh 19. Cool. So what you notice around the bottom and the edges of the door are almost like spider webs, like the edges of spider webs. Uh, what you this, also this room fear... has obviously been unoccupied for a long time because look, there's uh, there's spider webs, uh, or it's also... occupied by spiders. It's definitely. You also hear something from the other side, Shade. Uh, like just a... ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. Does it sound like somebody? Gagged. 
it sounds like a person, yeah, who uh, their mouth is covered like they can't speak properly. Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll kick the door in. <laughs> cool. Every time uh, <laughs> don't check. I love it. I'll, I'll be right back. 23. The door what? just almost falls off of its hinges uh, as you kick this stone door that is locked. <laughs> <laughs> and you destroy it. Uh, Dave, if I can have two giant spider tokens, <laughs> yeah. please. Uh, what I will tell you is that you know the door is still usable shape. Uh, where are we? Uh, that's the mimic. Where's my spiders? Oh, there they are. Uh, oh, yeah. You're doing that one. I'll do the other one. They're yeah, big and big, big, yeah. Oh. yeah, they're giant spiders. Um, cool. If we're all initiative. <laughs> Hello, I've got double figures that time. Oh, brilliant. I've never rolled initiative so much in one session as a GM. (laughs) (laughs) But you've all got to get better at rolling initiative. Uh, Okay, so, Shafe, you kick this door in. Um, You all just, you were all focused on the mimic. And then suddenly you just hear this crash of this stone door as Shafe, with very little warning, kicks it open. He did warn you a little bit. Um, <laughs> as he hears something none of you have heard. Um, Shafe, you notice that... I think I just need to move it. No, it's not there. Let's just double check. Cool. So the noise is coming from these two, what almost appear to be like cocoons of bodies in this <laughs> room that... Again? <laughs> that is full of moldy body, uh, moldy food, sorry, uh, and damaged crates, and is full of spider webs. The spider webs are absolutely alert and ready for you, but no one's surprised, fortunately. Uh, Mrs. Bebble Bobble, atop the junk pile. <laughs> you, you, you need to roll initiative again, Far. <laughs> yep, just, just don't. Don't leave the room because we're starting another fight again. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I, can I see into the room where I am well enough to? Uh, you could probably just about see here. You can't see any spiders from where you are. You can okay. just see into a room full of spider webs. Um, oh, it's, it's clearly housekeeping hasn't been in a while. Um, <laughs> and uh, I will get down off my trash pile uh, just next to, to safe and I will hold an, uh, my short bow in case anything pops out. Oh, so the moment you go down, you absolutely see this giant spider here. Um, oh, well, in that case... Up in the corner of the wall and the ceiling. In that case, it's an instinctive womanly scream and no! Shoot. <laughs> Roll to hit. Ooh. Um... Let's see. So I say that again? 16. 16. Yes, that will hit, yes. Lovely. Three, over five points on the short bow, and then 10 on sneak attack. Uh, you wouldn't get sneak attack unless you use your insightful. Would I not get it being next to Shay? Because he's also an enemy. No. He would he would need to be next to the creature. Oh, I see. Sorry, that's yeah. me misreading stuff. Uh, in that case, we get to see that. I'll just take the five. And go cool. <laughs> it looks quite badly hurt from that. Um, these look like quite unfed spiders that don't get to eat very often. Um, cool. Shave, <laughs> have a kick the door open and send these two um, cocoons shaking and wobbling and the noise coming from them. Uh, it is now your turn. What would you like to do? I'm going to attack because obviously there's people that need to be rescued. Okay, I, cool. I, I know you described the door as as reusable, but I'm not going to shut it behind them and leave them to their fate. I'm going to I'm going to attack. Can I can I ask for a judgment? Um, shield of faith. Can I use it on myself, or is it only yeah. on others? Yeah, no, you can absolutely. Yes, yeah, so it's it rules as written. You can use it on yourself. Yeah. Okay, so I will um, I will concentrate for a moment. Use that bonus action to cast Shield of Faith on myself, and the others will witness a shadowy layer appear over my arm. I almost become 
grayer um, than I usually am. And then I will move into the room and I will attack. Cool. And uh, you see it, the giant you say it was in the wall, was it? It's up at they're up at they're both up in their corners respectively, but you can now see this one that's in the top right corner. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and do an overhand strike and try and get it in the soft underbelly. Yep, go oh, ahead and roll attack. It's a 19 on the dice. Nice. nice. Yeah, seven. that hit. Um, so I'm going to do that seven points of damage. Can I can I dump a um, uh, Divine Smite? Yeah, go yes. ahead. I'm going to use a, a, another spell slot to do an extra 2d8 damage. So that's not great, actually. Uh, that's 12 in total. That wasn't very good rolling. Uh, so as you swing your sword overhand, cut, you cut through the underbelly and you cut some of the legs off. And this spider, while it screeches and is still just hanging on, like you have had some of the innards of the spider fall on you um, from where you are and splash on you, but it is looking very, very badly wounded. Right. Okay. Okay. Gross. Gross. Anything else in your turn, Shay? That, uh, that's it. Cool, but you have said Shay disappear into this room. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, look in the room. We heard like mumbled noises. Can I, can I see any any bodies or anything? Uh, so you haven't heard those noises. Oh, um, okay. Then you've I just guess said Shay go into the room. Cool. First thing first, in into the doorway. Um, quick peek around. Grow. Yeah, make a perception check. It's like a free perception check as well. Thank you. That's 18. Yeah, you you also hear this. Ooh, ooh, uh, and you notice it's two distinct voices as well. And you see these two cocoons, spider cocoons down here uh, wriggling. Okay. I want to try and I guess it's an action to to grab them. Grab one each. Yeah, yeah, because you'd have to cut them. You know, they're attached by webs to the rest of the room. You would have to mm. cut them off, so that would be a, an action. You, you wouldn't have to roll for it or anything. You could just spend your action doing that uh, and then pick them up. And web. Cool. So rather than attacking, I'll use my. I'll basically attack the spider webs to get them out of there. Cool, yeah, and you can do that, and you can carry one of them. You notice that one of them is smaller than the other one. Um, one of them looks uh, probably about 5 foot 10 or 11, the other one looks about 4.5 feet tall. Okay, I'm just going to call back to the others then, uh, Kingsman, Mr. Spellbottom, and Nesh can say, there's people inside, I'll grab one, somebody grab the other one. I'm going to nip in, jump over these barrels here, and land in front of whichever is the shorter, which which was this one here? Shorter one. Yeah, the, the one you go to is the shorter one. Cool, going to gonna grab them. So yeah, far, cool. just like the spear, whip off the webs, grab them, and can I move back? I've still got, what was that? How much movement was that? Uh, that's, you've probably got about half your movement left, so yeah, you could make it back to the outside the room, I'd say. Cool, then you grab them, the pop them out and dump on the on the floor outside. Cool. You that's have my one time, I think. Cool, it's now the spiders. <laughs> uh, Shaith, they are both going to go for you because you are in the room. Uh, yep. I give Shay a thumbs up on the way out. <laughs> You got this, Shay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you inspired me by taking down that chained up chest thing that you just murdered. Okay, don't be a dick about it, Shay. <laughs> don't be a dick, buddy. <laughs> cool. They get a seven and a fourteen, both of them, as they try and grab at you and bite at you, but are unable yeah. to. Yep. Yeah. That's a miss. Cool. So that is their turn. Uh, I think I teeth, right, guys. You saw the teeth. Come on. You have seen Shaith go in, Fargo in, and come out with someone cocooned up. What would you like to do, Kingsman, on your turn? I will, I will run into the room as best I can. I don't know if I can get to the uh, the other person. Do you want me to do a perception check? Uh, yeah, if you could do a perception check to see if you notice it, unless someone shouted it out. I think Fargo did yell it out before. Fargo did. Yeah. yeah, so that's fine. If Fargo oh. shouted it out, then you can go in and... I'm going to... Uh, there's these, only one movie. These broken barrels here, I'm just going to... I, I want to try to keep moving if I can, but I'm just going to grab one and just fling it at the giant spider and try to keep moving. So I can I can also now see the person sort of. Yeah. So wrapped up if you wood. use the barrel to attack, that'll be your action, and you won't be able to cut the person free. Okay. So I'll, I'll 
pick up the barrel and just throw it as hard as I can into it. There's no finesse in this. It's just trying to keep moving. Make an attack roll. Uh, oh, yeah. So we're, we're doing 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 exactly hits. Uh, mm. Which one are you aiming for? The one uh, that the looks really badly wounded? Uh, that one? No, I was, I was wrong button. Uh, I was going for this one because it's right next to me as I burst, okay, burst cool. into the room. Uh, we will call that a D6 because these are very damaged barrels. They're not. Yeah. If it was a solid barrel, it'd be probably be a D12. It's fair. a six. All good. Cool. It's looking so badly hurt as you crush some of its legs uh, as you go past. Are you continuing on to the person down here that you can see? I'll, I'll go down to get the person. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, so they're still tied up. Um, yep. Can't pick them up, but you are there with them. Uh, Neska. <laughs> it's now your turn. You've said lots of people disappear in and out of this room, um, having <laughs> literally just killed a chained up mimic. What would you like to do? <laughs> I'll, I'll... Like gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Only after you shot it. <laughs> oh, that's the point. <laughs> hey, I will also move into the room to, to see what's happening. Cool, and you can see these two spiders that are surrounding Shafe and Kingsman next to a what is clearly a humanoid body in a spider cocoon that is wriggling. Okay, so I I don't think the spiders are going to to let us out of here with with their food. So uh, yeah, I will attack the uh, the other spider. Cool, roll an attack. Would my Shalala still be active? I don't think so, after all the walking around we've done, huh? Uh, well, you didn't actually get that. We didn't do a lot. Got into another fight. After him. How mm-hmm. long does Shalala last for? I think it's one minute. Let me see. Oh. You still have Shalala up. That's fine. I'll okay. say you still For this okay. encounter, you still have it up, and then it'll drop after this. Okay, that is a... Eleven. Cool. Eleven, uh, unfortunately, misses, and you're you just missed this spider. Is it? It is flailing as it is in a lot of pain and very badly hurt. Hmm. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Any bonus action or any more movement? Uh, no. I think I think that'll be it because uh, King's business with the other the other person. So I'll I'll wait here. Cool, uh, Mrs. Bebel Bumble. It is your turn now. What would you like to do? The two spiders look really badly hurt. Um, I will try and shoot the same one I did before. Yep, that's this one here. You're not this. This dice today, natural twenty. Oh, <laughs> nice. um, friend and foe alike. <laughs> so you're doing that one. Yeah, lovely. Okay, uh, cool. So you could roll your dice and max them out if you would like to know how much damage you caused. I will tell you now, you don't need to. Let's just do it for the funsies. <laughs> but for so, the funsies, absolutely. <laughs> so it'll be, and I do get sneak attack this time, right? Because shapes. Yeah. There. Cool. So that'll be 10, so 26 starting. Wow. Um, and then it'll be <laughs> 8 points plus 5. 39. So another. Um, yeah, so another 13, so... Cool. And you short bow? Uh, yeah. You loose this arrow for this creature that had two hit points left, and your arrow just splits right, goes right up into its maw and straight out the back of its abdomen, um, and it just sort of shudders for a little bit and then drops and flops very, very dead. And because I'm very grossed out by it, Bonus action hide. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll, roll a stealth check. Um, Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, they don't know where you are. They got no idea. <laughs> the uh, cool, Shafe, You are now up. You have just seen the spider next to you being obliterated by Mrs. Bumble Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? I'm going to turn and focus on the on the one. Uh, I think that's a miss. That's only an eight to hit. Eight does miss. <laughs> Good 
Can I use a bonus action? Yeah, you can use a bonus action. Yeah, uh, it's it's a, it's still up on the on the webs and the wall, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is, yeah, it hasn't moved down yet. It's tried to bite you. From can I wall. grab one of its legs and um, pull it down to the floor? Uh, yeah, I'll allow you to make a contested uh, athletic check. check. Uh, yes, athletics, yeah. 21. Uh, cool, I got a 19, so you still Ooh. beat it. But you feel some resistance and fight in this spider that is all but dead, and then you pull it down to the ground. Okay, all right, but it's, it's now prone. Uh, well, it's on the floor anyway. On it's floor, on the yeah. floor, I would say. It's not prone, it's on yeah. the floor. On the floor, yeah, that's fine. Um, and that's my go. Cool, Far, you're up next. You've got this person, or this what you think is a person inside a cocoon. Um, you know there's one more left. You don't know what else has gone on in the room. Cool. Um, I, can I finish the bit more? Yeah, you can. Uh, oh, what's your passive perception? I think you probably can. Yeah, uh, yeah you can. Yeah, she's she's literally over there on the corner. Like you can absolutely see her. All right. Um, but she's crouched there. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I just I, I look over. Like, can you take care of this guy? Uh, and then I run around. Around the side of Shafe, and is that flanking on this side, or is it not? It has to be opposite sides. You got to be opposite sides, so yeah, you okay. you couldn't flank the spider because where it is. That's cool. I just run round and I help finish this thing off. Roll with some a, attacks with some good old attacks. Yeah, <laughs> that's a nat twenty for twenty six. <laughs> nice. Amazing. Wow. Uh, <laughs> again, if you want to for funsies, roll the damage. <laughs> And work um, out how much it is. Then please. Yeah, we're it. it's, it's all damage twice, right? Uh, so it's maximum what you would have done, whatever your uh, damage dice is, well, and then 15. roll. Cool, so that is... Oh, 15 plus 12 is 27. Woo! Cool. Far, how does it look as you obliterate this giant spider that had two hit points left? <laughs> <laughs> Why is Father one that's only taking out like the, the most pathetic creatures today? <laughs> Very consistent. <laughs> I think yeah, I come in, um, I see that Shay's like wrestling things to the ground, so as he's got it down, I just come through and just lay into it with a spear a few times, finish it off. Cool, yeah, and you absolutely do. We can once again kill the battle music. <laughs> as Everything in here is now dead, and you are out of initiative order. Kingsman, you are still next to a being, you would think, a humanoid creature inside uh, a spider cocoon. Yep, um, I'm, I'm down next to them, and I'm just, uh, I'll pull out my dagger, and I'll just start cutting some yep. of the webs, start ripping yes. it off, for the, off their face like they do with uh, Frodo, trying to get them to, to uh, make sure they're okay. It's, it's okay, you're... you're um... We're here to we're here to help. Don't worry, the spiders. We're, we're killing the spiders. The spiders are down. Just don't cool. struggle. So you're opening it up. Yep. Cool. Yep. So you rip it open, and inside you find what is clearly human woman, wearing just like normal traveler's clothes, like nothing special, nothing fancy, um, just like a jacket um, and some trousers, and she looks quite badly bruised and injured, but is alive, and you, she just. Uh, <gasps> oh yeah. Have you seen my daughter? The, oh, I'll, the daughter. I'll, I'll do the same outside with the other one. The, the other person who was with you? She, she, got, she got lost in the main. Where is she keeping my daughter? I don't know. Let me let me help you. There, there's someone else here. Uh, okay, Kingsman, I'll, I'll make, make sure an inside check, Kingsman. Uh, that's a seven. Cool. Yeah, you look. You you know you, you're not sure. <laughs> you just need to <laughs> maybe find her daughter. That's fine. I'll, I'll uh, stop. Keep keep, keep cutting. Da, 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 da. Cool. Yep, and you um, can free her. Outside cool. the room, Mrs. Bumble Bumble's got her little dagger and is is cutting away at the other. You person. seem really into that, Mrs. Bumble Bumble. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm a proficient seamstress, dear. I'm used to ripping a seam or two. You're just grinning so loud while they mumble inside. <laughs> uh, cool. And you are able to open up this cocoon and inside it you find a tabaxi. And oh. he has got this like yellow fur. Uh, he, His skin is like pulled into his skeleton. Like He's incredibly gaunt. Almost like the mm. life 
has been drained from him as though he has been possibly fed on um, oh. by one of the spiders. Um, he does gasp for air, but not as strongly as the woman inside. And you just hear him say, um, couldn't, couldn't find it. You need to tell him. Uh, and then he dies. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Is there any way I can, I can heal him before he dies? Like, as, as he starts uh, to like, gasp? You feel, Father, that, like, that what he said was his last gasp um, on life, and like he was already gone. Okay. Um, but that was his last fight, uh, just to get those words out. Okay, so he couldn't find it, and he needs to tell him. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, man. Poor bastard. Give him a quick burial rite. How's yours, Kingsman? I'm far. I need, I, I'm, we may need some help. I'll, I'll, I'll keep cutting around, cutting around the webs. Cool. She's yeah, saying, and you do. You free her. She's saying she she's lost someone. Her daughter. There are other bodies in here wrapped up in webs. Can I check what those are? Uh, yeah, you can cut them open, and you all you find in there is like drained, um, almost dissolved carcasses of bodies. Uh, nothing right. identifiable. Um, far and Shade, who has run to the next room already. Um, <laughs> can you make, uh, in fact, Shade, you've gone. Far, can you make an insight check, please? As you yeah, hear sure. This conversation going on. Oh, Christ, in a basket. Seven? <laughs> God damn. Well, you've got no idea. <laughs> uh, you can't put anything together as to why that might be. Why um, do I Shaith... always get the worst rolls or the best rolls? <laughs> Shade, would you like to do an insight check, or is Shade not interested? Uh, shafe has got 10 minutes on this spell, so he's waiting patiently at the last door, because clearly, if she's looking for her daughter and she's not in that room, this is the only place left in this mine that she can be. Did Nesh I, don't know. I, I, I kind of want to go back and have a look at that sconce in a little while. Mm. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, you can go look at that sconce if you want. Um, Shafe, the door you've got in front of you is another one of these stone doors. Do I hear um, anything behind it? Make a perception check. Uh, thirteen. No, that you, there is silence behind it. In this, you, like you're confident there is nothing behind here. Okay, is is it locked? It is locked. Yes. It has the on, you notice on the lock it has a symbol of a potion on it. Symbol of a to be find a key with a potion bottle on it. Neshka has one. I'll go and find Neshka. I'm I'm over here at the sconce. You said um, you said earlier that it looked like it was loose. Yeah. Can I can I jump up and and try to grab onto it? Oh yeah, classic sconce puzzle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can do that, and as you do, and you can grab hold of it. You're tall enough and strong enough to jump up and grab hold of it. You pull it down, and it doesn't come free from the wall. Uh, what it does do is the wall that it is next to. You just hear a chunk chunk as it slides to the side and opens up a secret doorway uh, into the area that you just came from. Uh, oh. <laughs> you would all recognize. So far, like, okay, well, we have a walk. shortcut back if we need one. <laughs> Can I just make a quick check? The, the lady who's being decapooned, her yep. clothing... Does it is it reminiscent of any clothing that we might have seen on any creatures in this dungeon so far? Is she wearing a jean uh, jacket? Not that you have seen Mrs. Bumble Bumble or Neshka, no. You two would not recognise uh, or know what she's talking about, I don't think. Right. Uh, oh, actually, Mrs. Bumble Bumble, you were in the room, so you can make an insight check if you would like to. Oh. You, you did end up in the room. Right, okay. That is going to be inside... Yeah. Yes. Uh, it was a DC 10, by the way. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>, thanks. <laughs> so if we were in the room with the spiders, we can we can make a perception check? No, so oh, Neshka didn't go in the room. Um, so it was the room further back when you fought the smaller Neogi. Um, there was a oh, small child that was yeah. being eaten by those creatures. Yeah, that is the only child you've seen here. Uh, so yeah. you suspect that that is probably one of them. Didn't they take the body with it? They, they did that? drag it away, yeah. It was part of a yeah. trap. It's it's still there. Um but yeah. 
you ain't gonna want to see it though, are you? No. Well, we can at least tell her what's happened. Was it, it was like a young woman, right? Uh, yeah, middle aged woman. Yeah, yeah, we can at least tell her what happened. Like, we owe her that much. I think we still got the skull keys as well, right? They should have opened uh, this passage the first time. You have got two gems, yes, red gems. Cool, uh, so, do, cool. do you tell this woman that her child is dead? Well, b- before that happens, I get a potion <laughs> kill from Neska. Cool, and you can go and un- unlock that door. Uh, and Dave, you can uncover that door for sh- uh, that room for Shaith, and I'll tell him what's in there. Uh, Far, do you tell this woman? That yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think, um, I'm gonna give her some water, I have to calm her down, and I'm gonna say, hey, uh, hey, my name's, my name's Far, Far Horizon. I'm a, I'm a monk. Your daughter, can you describe her for me? Well, she was um, a wee girl, just blonde hair. Simple. She had a book with her, always carried the same book with her about ironically walking in the woods and being safe. Yeah. Have you seen her? Yes. I'm sorry, ma'am. But, uh... Well... Why are you sorry? Is, well, because she is no longer with us. She, we, we... You we saw her taken by the creature. Did you see? Uh, we we did let her go. Yes, we we did find her. Yes. Oh, where is she? I'll go find her. Where is she? I really don't think you want to. I, like I said, she is. She has been. You know, she's been. Uh, she's. She has passed. She, we found her back in the another room. The creatures must have got her. I am sorry. No, oh, no, you must be mistaken. Uh, and she goes to slap you. Uh, misses. I don't even. I don't even. No, I don't dodge. I don't dodge. I don't no, she's me. just terrible. She's like she's not trying. She's angry. Oh, she, slap she you. misses. Okay, well that's something. And I'm misses in anger slap. as she goes to run out the room. Yeah. And she will run away basically unless anyone stops her. I mean, we know that there's there's nothing really that's going to attack her. We don't want to trap. So I'm just going to say, yeah. it's the Second, uh, first on the left, or third on the left. Just be careful. I'm sorry again. She's gone like really quickly, running out, crying yeah. and sobbing. Um, Mrs. Bumble Bumble and Nesky, you just see this human woman run out in tears, sobbing, uh, and runs up the steps and goes through the secret door that you opened mm. and out. Shape the room that you're in. I'm conscious of the time. Uh, so the room that you're in. Uh, as you open the door, I assume you open the door. Oh yeah. Uh, inside, like immediately opposite, you see this rack um, that you would know from your experiences for torturing people and chaining people to, um, and harming people. You see skeletons in this corner, chained up, like shackled to the wall. Um, you see a trap door here, covered in blood, a chest, and a table. And on top of that table, you can see a book. And also some equipment that you wouldn't know what it is, but you can see it's got it's like these glass cylinders um, and balls that have these li- this liquid in it. It looks green to you. Okay. Um, do I think I can move the rack? Uh, you can try, but you think it'll be incredibly difficult. Like it is incredibly heavy. Uh, all I want to do is just try and drag it so it sits on top of the trap door so that something can't creep up behind me when I investigate the table. Make a strength check. <laughs> Natural twist. Yay! Cool. You feel the power of Pratheria helps you move this uh, torture rack uh, and you put it across the trap door and as you do, the trap door just boom, boom, bashes uh, as you can tell there's something inside and you see that it is bolted and there is a padlock on the top of it keeping it shut okay Okay. and it now has a very heavy rack on it as well so (laughs) yeah yeah, like it would take something incredibly strong to get out of that even you you struggled even with a nat 20 but you did you were able to do it okay um and i'll i'll start looking at, at the stuff on the table um just while i wait for everyone else to catch up cool so 
on the table you find a book that you is in a language that you cannot read um but it is similar to the book that was found before okay uh, um it just looks like a liquid there's um like a potion bottle you see now as you get closer on the table uh, that has some of the liquid in it okay i i will pick the book up i will pick the potion bottle up um and put them in my backpack for now and i'll share that with others when they arrive uh, and then I guess I'll go and take a look at the chest. Yeah, cool. Well, yeah. Do you try and open the chest? Um, is there a lock on it or anything? No. Then I'll, I'll do what I did in the other room. Um, I think it was Far that taught me. I'll, I'll drag it away from the wall and open it from behind. Cool. Uh, and as you do, there's no traps here. It unlocks. Uh, and inside you see a selection of potion bottles. Okay. Then I'll... And a note. I, I will read the note. Uh, cool. The note says in common, uh, like scrawled really hurriedly, it's like a little torn bit of paper. Uh, we put them in trapdoor for you. Crazy things kept biting us, is all it says. Okay. Uh, I'll get potion bottles out and put them in my backpack and close the chest and sit on top of the chest and wait for everyone else to catch up. Does everyone else go in that room with Shane? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm there now. Cool. And you, you all walk into this room where clearly it was a place of torture uh, and wickedness. Mm. Um, is there anything else you want to do in here? Or are you finished in the mine of Kiros? You still have an elf waiting for you outside, basically. <laughs> this is me you're talking to. <clears throat> I want to open the trap door. I'm. Uh, I think Neshka would think it was a bad idea, but I really want to know what's down there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Still got some of that wonderful powder. Maybe we could ready that in case it's really bad down there, and just kind of drop, close it, run. Actually, oh, hang on, hang on, no way. It said, it, said, it said on the note that it kept biting them. Yeah. They, yeah, it says crazy things kept biting us. Okay, it, it's probably that thing that we thought, maybe it's more than things we thought in the other room. Because mm. the giant mouth thing. It, it could well be, Shafe. I think we can... Um, why don't we move the device, lift the trapdoor, take a look. And I agree. Um, well, we uh, the only part. reason I'm... If, if it's definitely there's more demons, I might as well stay there, because... I put the I put the rack on top of the trap door because they were they were banging and trying to get out. So I think if we open it, they'll probably leap out straight away. So if, if it is if it is the more demon, we might as well just leave the rack there and and let them stay in the dark. Where they I don't think it would have been a more demon with a note about biting them. That thing was pretty hefty. This seems more like the little uh, those little you know the little jean jacket guys. The, the Nyogi things, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, then okay. there's no point in opening the trapdoor then either, is there? Because they might as well stay there. It, I, I was more worried that it was going to be somebody trapped in the innocent. I mean, it depends on what the on what the writing says. What, read the note again. It, it says about them getting bitten. Okay. No, I mean, I, and hear me out, guys. Nyogi bite, but like people bite. Right. right? Uh but I'll make a perception check as you say that. Okay. <laughs> that is a 16. Uh, cool. What you hear from underneath is this... <laughs> it is definitely not a human noise coming from Also dog there. bite? I mean, I'm just like kind of going through <laughs> right now. It also does not sound like a dog Bugs bite. Uh, I guess <laughs> birds don't bite, technically. So I, yeah, I kind I, of feel, I I kind of feel like I'm I'm leaving the rack and and we we'll, we'll just leave them to. I, uh, I think whatever is down there might be the, the children that we keep hearing about. Possibly, yeah. So it's going to be thousands and thousands of little Nyogi. More reason to drop a bomb down there. Oh, they're never getting out. I mean, I I I struggled to move the rack. On, on I mean, my own. I hate to say it, but. 
like it would be pretty good no actually no i think that's just me talking that's not far talking i think it'd be cool <laughs> i'll be like i've been blown up twice today <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Are we moving the torch wreck? Or are we leaving the only people that can move it? So the decision lies with yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Shaith and Kingsman. They're the only two people that can possibly move boys. it. Uh, we, so we, Shaith we, and we Kingsman, are you leaving it there or are you moving it? We leave it. Whatever's yeah, in there, it. we leave it to rot. We, we go and catch up with my friend, the elf, and deliver the stunning news that his sister's been murdered. Okay, maybe you don't get to deliver that news to the elf that you really enjoy. Uh, being uh, kind of aggressive to? Maybe. Well, also, she wasn't really murdered. She, yeah, she, I she definitely didn't hit her at all. Stretch the definition of murdered. But, <laughs> so you all head outside then? Um, have yeah, I think, to, I think the, the, the right of it is these things. I'll cool, so you walk, you walk through the mine now with the secret passageway unlocked, much easier yes. uh, journey than before. Um, you go outside and you go up to the top uh, you see the light for the first time in a few hours, and uh, you see an elf not tied up, waiting for you. Uh, immediately, Mrs. Bumble Bumble looks at you. Um, no, so, um, did you find her? Ooh, in a manner of speaking, I have her. Uh, I have her pendant. I take it out and hand it to him. And cool. say, I'm uh, very he, sorry. He will take it. Uh, Neshka, make an insight check for me, please, quickly. Okay. Eighteen. Do we see the old lady? Oh, sorry. Go on. Cool. Uh, he takes the next. Oh, um, yes. Uh, oh. Um, anything else down there? And again, Mrs. Bumble Bumble directly makes eye contact with you. Um, I will. I will go with him and kind of like get close, take his hand. Like, I'm I'm so sorry for your loss, my dear. And I want to slide the diary sneakily, stealthily to him. Cool. Uh, make a sleight of hand check. Uh, everyone else can make a perception check if yeah. they would be paying attention mm. to what's going on. 23. Can anyone beat a 23? Uh, I can, yes. yes. No. <laughs> uh, tw 20, no, 22. Cool. So Nesha's the closest and like kind of yeah. cat looks but doesn't see it. Mrs. Bumble Bumble, had a better hand the diary had. Um, and it goes out of sight. Oh, well, um, oh, well, you know, it's very sad, but um, I suppose you'll be on your way and I'll go and clean up down there. Did we get paid? But you what? found some stuff, didn't you? Did we get paid? You, yeah, you told us you would uh, reimburse us. Yeah. Oh, um, that jacket is looking awful nice too. Don't think I forgot. Uh, and on his belt, uh, he unhooks a bag of gold and throws it at you far. Instant catch. Yeah, you have no problem catching it. Um, <laughs> yeah, quick instant catch. Then. Quick look through. How much are we talking? Uh, probably three or four hundred gold pieces. You know what, guys? I think we've had a good day today, and uh, we should uh, we should move hey. on and. Really take the message we've learned from this this fine gentleman. Uh, if you were uh real quick, Shay, did you have something you want to say to this guy? Sorry? Do you have anything you want to say to this guy, our, our Earth One employer? Like oh, what? This is the one time I can't count on Shaves to be awful to elves. <laughs> Alright, well it's it's cool. <laughs> oh, oh, oh oh yeah, yeah. Hold hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so what was this guy's Kieran? Kieran, um, yeah. you know, I, I thought that you might want to have something uh, of your sister, you know, and the guys thought the necklace would do, but I, I felt that it might be something more more personal. Oh, really? So uh, I, I I took her skull. Oh, <laughs> and he holds his hand up. And I'll hand him the, the only hand grenade that I prepared. Oh. Uh, Shay, if you can make an insight check quickly for me. Uh, that's ten. Ten. Oh uh, yeah, cool. Uh, oh well, that's um, I suppose very sad. Um, it's an odd gift, but thank you. Anyway, I suppose you'll all be on your way. It's it's like a candle. It's scented. Oh yes, <laughs> lovely. Just make sure you're alone when you light it. 
always light my candles alone. <laughs> and he starts ushering you now away from the mine. Well, off you go. You've done what I asked you to do. So Far, he was a lot less upset than I thought he might be. Yeah, he was yeah. definitely a bad dude. And that probably wasn't even really his like, like proper sister. I don't trust that guy at all. But I do trust gold. Wait, hold on. I bite into a gold piece. Is this real gold? All real gold, like quality <laughs> gold. Okay, I do uh, trust gold. Well, I don't trust that guy. Okay. Well, the thing is, you have the gold now, so whatever you do next is up to you if you want to keep checking this guy out. So do you go back to the cart, or do you leave Kieran alone? <laughs> I just want to beat the shit out of Kieran, but... <laughs> <laughs> I need an inciting incident to do so. He's given you no reason to suspect, other than maybe he's not acting quite as sad as you expected. He's given you no reason to suspect that anything is up. He's just kind of... Wait, no, we... Okay, so we know that he was sending people into his mind, effectively feeding into a meat grinder. So he's kind of a bad dude. But I want to make sure everyone's cool with, like, enacting any kind of justice. Do you say that out loud? Uh, are we out of earshot? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> you say that out loud? I'm going to say it to Kingsman quietly. Cool. Uh, you can make a stealth check. Uh, cool. Kieran has very high perception. <laughs> Uh, 13. Cool. As you say it, um, oh, Kieran sorry, reaches behind his back and throws something down in front of him and it explodes in smoke. Uh, and all you can hear is the running of footsteps as he is gone into the water. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Back to the car. Back to the car. <laughs> yeah, back cool. to the car. Mm -hmm. uh, get that jacket, Kieran. <laughs> No, you're not. You hear from the <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cool. So you go back to the car, and Neri is waiting for you. And she, uh, as she sees you, goes, uh, "Oh, these were delivered for you while you were down there, and um, might be useful for you." Uh, and she hands you each a scroll. Oh, thanks, mm -hmm. Neri. Uh, take a looky see. Delivered cool. by who? Yeah. Just someone was passing by. He just um, seemed to know where you were. You know, magical things can locate people. It's not that suspicious, honestly, Shane. Okay, honestly, you made it more suspicious by saying that. That that made it sound worse. <laughs> uh, she winks at you, Far. Right, like, okay. Was, right. <laughs> Mrs. Bumble Bumble and I didn't even show up with you guys. What, how'd they know we were down there? Someone knew where you were. That's all. Um, have a read, I would suggest. Okay, yeah, I want to see what the scroll read. says. Yeah. Uh, cool. So you each have a scroll, and we won't put the image up just because of timings. Um, and each of you are addressed by name with the seal of Drudan, which is the Drow Kingdom. Uh, mm -hmm. And it is a summons from the Empress Amalika Zolri telling you that she has a task for you and a quest, and that she urgently needs you to travel straight to Bormir and the palace and to please not keep her waiting. Oh, damn. Okay. We're going to a palace. Yeah. I see a queen. The Empress. drow queen. You could really dumb that jacket <laughs> now, Far. Ah, tell me about it, right? I can still catch him, right? <laughs> Just wait for the explosion. Is everyone getting in the cart to like, <laughs> respond to this summons? Anyone yes, not yep. getting in the cart to respond to no, this summons? No, I get in the car. I, get I the kind car. of get cool. the impression that this guy wanted us to like clear the, the mine for him. And we didn't completely, because whatever is in that trap door is still down there. So maybe. Oh my God, will, you're right, we'll Neshka. Take care of itself. Yeah. That uh, guy's going to get a face full of. Oh, what's it called again? Yogi? Yogi. Yogi. Take a face full of Yogi. Cool. And so the you will get. They don't get in the candle wheel. You will get <laughs> in the car. Uh, and you are. Neri will take you for. She'll just add it to the tab far. Um, and she will take you to Drudan, which tab? is where we will pick up with you guys next session. But whilst you're traveling, somewhere else in Snilmerg that none of you are aware of, um, an elf walks down a wooden corridor um, that is lit by torchlight, an elf that you all know as Kieran, carrying a book. And as he knocks on a do wooden door that is open and a figure from the other side reaches out with a gloved hand, takes the book from him and simply says, Good work. Turns out they might be capable after all. 
give the signal for the twins to start moving. Oh, and lose that face. It's fucking annoying. And with that, the Kieran turns around and a copper mask comes up. And, that copper mask guy. Oh. and inside the room, the figure reads the book and starts reading through Kiros's diary. This is perfect. Everything we need. This is going to be beautiful. And that is where we will end this session. Oh, oh, we'll wow. bring that up next time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, nice, you're nice. all too easily tempted. <laughs> I'm designed to be easily tempted. <laughs> I was like, ah, well, like 10 more minutes, like you won't fall for all the traps, like, like every single trap you fall into. Absolutely, I love that. That was great. Oh. Is, I, I will say, in my defense, I thought, like, aha, if you're lunge at us, gonna be all snarling and biting, this would be great. And you're like a sad old mimic, yeah, <laughs> change the world as well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, thank you for your patience and everyone that was watching for their patience, as I know that we are slightly That was good. That, that was good, Ross. Well done. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, good time. Yeah, nice. this, yes. But now we've got another whole twist to this whole, mm. yeah. this whole thing. It's like, what, oh, what's, I can't wait to yeah. see where that's going. All right. Okay, yeah. we're going to wrap it up there, folks. We'll see you all next time. You lot don't go anywhere, but you lot watching, we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Oh, yeah. And this gets loud, this bit. <laughs>